Good morning, everybody. I noticed the view when it went live was the fa same view it was right before we went live. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to soon adjust. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I'm sure it's amazing. You're the Good best. Morning. You're the best tech crew ever. I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee for to start my morning. I think it just needs like mm. barely. That looks great. Good job. Great job. I'm gonna put on a lid because this is a recipe for disaster if I don't. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Maybe no. Well, somewhere it's afternoon. Believe it or not. You asked me if I got a haircut. No. Huh? You asked me if I got a haircut. The answer is no. Oh. Good morning from the Netherlands and Minneapolis and Calgary. What? Good morning, Amanda. Amanda, I hope you're still in bed. I feel like I could still be in bed. And if you're an hour earlier. Taylor's in Hawaii. I was just going to say Hawaii. Hello. Barcelona. Good Scotland. morning, Scotland. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Get out of town. I knew Amanda wasn't in bed. She's an early riser, early walker. I knew she wasn't in bed. We had um, a knitter reach out, and I don't know if I remember telling you this, but we did a Mother of the Bride. I believe this was the, the same customer. Um, we did a Mother of the Bride yarn. So she was going to knit shawls. Yes, I remember yeah. that. And hello, so, Zurich. What's she just said hello. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys. Good morning. Good morning, Star. Good morning, Star. In Star Portland. is probably still in bed. Listen, I would be. Nova Scotia. Hi, Brenda. Saskatoon. How is everybody this Thursday? Three weeks. Are we sick yet? Hey, sick of Calgary. us. Hey, Calgary. I'm sick of us. Hi, so Lana. people must from be Calgary. sick of us. Yeah, three weeks in a row. This feels crazy coming back. I'm okay. so happy, though. New Zealand. Friday at 5.30 in the morning. Right now? It's yeah. Friday already? Get ready for your weekend. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. What? We're barely starting Thursday, and that's already Friday. Mary, speedy recovery. She had so shoulder surgery. Oh, my gosh. Too Get much? well soon. No, it's perfect. I love that. Also, Dr. Pepper, 9.30 in the morning, going you know what? hard. I was getting rushed. Good morning, Anne. Um, I didn't have time to make the coffee. It would have... Eating up s precious minutes. Listen, you can be five minutes late to have a coffee. Right, everybody? We all know how no, important the coffee is. This is good enough, I guess. I'll have one later. I never do. If I missed my coffee in the morning, I don't think I would have it later. I, I don't Kelly's think I from Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Never what? heard of it. Good morning. That sounds like um, the location of a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> right? Those cute little names. Belfast, Northern Ireland. Good morning from Grand Prairie, here in our home province. I love that. Sarah from Sweden. Taylor says it's 6.30 a.m. here, but she needs a Dr. Pepper. Oh, so. Yes. Good morning, Tina from Kansas. I love it. Innisfail, good morning. Oh, my gosh. Local peeps. Okay, we're the Grocery Girls. Mm -hmm. My name is Jody. I'm Tracy. And we are coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, right? We're here to talk all things. We're mm, knitters. Fibery. We got a lot of yarn to show. We've got a lot of projects to talk about. Patterns. Oh, I have got patterns today. Good. Good morning, Alex. That's great. That's awesome. Vicky is from Minnesota. Um, I just thought too. I would like to say that if anybody's doing Vogue knitting online. This weekend, you can go to the Vogue Knitting Online website. They're doing classes, online marketplace, all that things. Um, we're going to be doing the lunchtime conversation with Nara tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that is something I believe, it's a Zoom. And I do believe it's included with your marketplace pass or yes. your class or anything like that. So any questions about that, you can go to Vogue Knitting on Live. But we will be there at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for an hour to talk about knitting or crafting for gifts mm. for holidays. I got a lot to say about that, so I'm very excited to. Do you? Yeah. Um, you I feel like it's something we talk about every year anyway when we start talking about that. So Don't give it up. Listen. Just kidding. Mm, nothing to say today here, but I feel like it's a great conversation yeah. and 
I always love to have that. And pattern ideas. Yeah. And is it just because you can knit? Is it something you have to do for other people? Yeah, we're just going to We're just going to let that hang there. there. Or crochet or sew or quilt or whatever it is St. you do. Louis. Does that mean you have to spend your crafting time doing for others if you don't want to? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm excited about that conversation. Okay, what time is it? God, is that taking It's coffee forever? time. You've... It's coffee time is what it is. Jody. Okay. Don't side-eye my whip. What did we... Okay, you guys, I went to see the new Hunger Games movie. Jody, finish that sentence. And by that... I paid for a ticket. I mean, I napped for two and a half hours. I want to go. I can't believe you fell asleep. Well, I can believe you fell asleep. Okay, so picture this. I'm in a dark movie theater. Right. I'm sitting in premier leather recliners. Are they heated? Heated. Okay. Well, that's that's the problem right there. And I take a blanket. So you tucked yourself in. Uh -huh. You paid for a nap. Did. But I went with Shane and Maddie and they loved it. Good. Yeah. Um, I would like to go. Yeah. We did go see Napoleon. Also nap worthy. <laughs> it was really long. Newsville. I fell asleep for like five minutes, mm -hmm. which is five more than I ever fall mm -hmm. asleep for in a movie. It was interesting, but dry, dry. And I actually don't know that history. Okay. And it made me think, geez, I should look some of this stuff up because I do, I like that kind of stuff. But, oh my gosh, like it was too long. Was Give too me the long. 40 minute close No, notes. no, no. Because I don't know, know this stuff. Jeff's no longer allowed to pick movies. Well, I kind of suggested it too because we loved like Gladiator and Ridley Scott. And oh, so do I. So we kind of thought it would be like, you know, one of those. Upbeat. No, well, yeah, right. One of those feel good movies. Um, so we thought it would be kind of, I don't know. This was not, this is not what I thought. Anyway. Does Jerry know I'll go to something again? else. I hope so. We didn't tell her. I did not remind her. And she didn't even ask on Monday. I feel like she, she wants the repeats now. She's not here live anymore. Um, she's out walking. Is she's got she's a doing. life. She's got things to do. Hold and I phone. totally I'm appreciate that. Um, um, I feel like we both have new sweaters to share, which is really exciting. Uh, good morning from sunny, chilly Wyoming. I love that. Speaking of chilly, it was minus 10 this morning. It's been the coldest this morning that it's been so far this winter. We still have no snow. It, it's crazy that we don't have snow. There's um, blizzards in Ontario. There is plus fives and sixes next week I know. coming. Weather... We have snow. We don't have snow coming, which is going to make me a little bit um, twitchy closer to Christmas, the holidays. Well, also, here's the thing. As everyone knows, I'm on Candy Cane Lane, right. which is like a lit, free drive down right. street. It's nice to have the cords covered. Right. And like it, doesn't, it doesn't look so good with cords all over the lawn. It doesn't feel like Christmas or holidays, whatever you're celebrating this time of year, to us without a blanket of snow. Yeah. Um, I was wondering how you quietly fire an employee or push Am them Am I out. getting fired? No. Oh. Or is your daughter getting fired? What I, are we talking no, about just here? Just kidding. She was going to watch this morning. Um, and so she should. Jeez, family should be obligated. Jordan, hit the thumbs up and okay. subscribe. You guys, I told you about this Jones Road thing. I don't have a lot of knitting, knitting and stuff to show. If so we're going straight into makeup in minute 10. I got to show this kit. I know. It's so good. Um, okay, so this is still available. It's Jones Road. It's one of their limited edition colorways. But I got to show you guys because it comes with a little sampler of this miracle bomb that we're always talking about. That you can use lips, eye, you can use for a little, you know, highlight. Amazing. Bomb is such a good word for it. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's exactly, it is what you think. But then they've got it tinted or shimmered and it's just kind of like, I can't believe so, nobody else has really thought of this before because it's amazing. beautiful black eyeliner. I've always used uh, Bobbi Brown or their mm -hmm. eyeliners. And the kits are a great way to try products. I feel like they're pretty good price, the kits. <gasps> I have this. I should give it away. This is the, do you have this barely pink one? Yeah. Um, this is what I showed you guys last week on my eyes. The kit that I got has a gold one of those. It's called Gilded. Oh. It's a, it's called a sparkle wash. And it's very light, shimmery. You it, can wear it by itself. It's kind of shiny. I'm sending this to Amanda. 
There you go. Screw the giveaway. Sorry. I'm giving you're, it to Amanda. You're giving it away. You just know um, where it's okay. going. Okay, and then this also amazing cream blush. Yeah. Um So, I'm I'm kind of lucky cuz I got so much I I I love their stuff. We we talk about them a lot. I I didn't that's the only double I got. The sparkle wash. Yeah. yeah. And then this is a little bit of cream blush. It's actually a lip and cheek stick. So I love that about it. You guys. Jody, look at you. This, let me tell you. 30 second makeover. Uh, bright pink rose. Mm -hmm. I also have one that's a touch darker. I actually prefer this. They've come out with a lot of great colors <gasps> in that line. Oh. So there it, you have it. Actually it actually is. If you've got someone that's really hard to buy for and you think, you know, maybe there's something out of the box that they might enjoy. This is such a good idea. Yeah. Yes. Right? It is such a good idea for yourself, for a girlfriend, for, you know, anybody that you think you would like to pamper and treat specially. Especially if their initials are JR. Right. And I got the kit that's got the gold. So my colors are slightly different. They're both available. It's two holiday kits. I don't know. I picked the gold because I don't there know. was there was a miracle bomb in it that I was that I'd never seen before. Okay, that's why. Anyway, I love it so much. Anyway, um, super fun. I'm reading a book. Have you started the one I suggested? No, it's very interesting. Has you changed your review because no, you were like it's, it's so good. It's so good. It's. I think the overall message is going to be amazing, um, and it, it's it. It's very well received. It's got five stars. It's House in is the Cerulean Sea. Is it brand new? Sea. Not brand, brand new. Um, the House in the Cerulean Sea. And it's just so good, you guys. It's not murder. It's not um, Is there murder? No. Is it a thriller? Look at Star. What? All caps. I love that book. <gasps> Star, anytime you come across a good book, text it to us. I think it's going to come down to like everybody maybe i'll is... start it this weekend oh, it's so good okay we're gonna circle back we need to it's have a book club. very good we need to have a book club yeah we could i love reading as much as knitting well yeah i do oh well because i do them at the same time yeah. i listen to my books oh yeah that's so actually good. awesome um i love it yeah okay good i love a good book wreck oh and there's going to be a sequel Ooh. so is this quite a new book then did it just come out fairly we're, like we're gonna have years, to wait Oh, so maybe the sequel's coming soon. Maybe. Read Under the Whispering Door. It's a game changer. What? Are you going to remember that? No. Okay, just a minute. Do we have a pen? Under the Whispering Door. Can I write it? Text it to loss? me. Text it to me. Okay. Tell me again. Under the Whispering Door. One more time. O-M-G. Just forget it. Okay. Just hold up your phone. Under the Whispering Door. Under the Whispering Door. Jody and Alex. <laughs> Love making messages to her phone. Well, I don't want to yell it, but I still want to dictate it. Yeah. Okay, anyway. You tell me all Fuck about you. it. Fuck <laughs> you. Listen, it's never changed. You still do it exactly the same. It still makes me laugh. I, love I it. do it at home whether I'm by myself or with, like, I'm in a group of people. <laughs> it's like the house in the cerulean sea. Okay. I don't know. Do you want it? Oh, I don't even know how. To... Something weird happened yesterday. Okay, bring it. I'm ready. I... Georgia had a haircut, and okay. so I was like, okay, I'll go to the mall, you do your haircut, I'll kill an hour. I love that. I'm thinking I'm going to go to Sephora, I'm going to go whatever. Well, it's right next to Anthropology mm -hmm. at the mall, so it's like the whole window is sparkles mm. and beautiful things, and so much knitwear. Can I just say one thing? When you texted our group and said, Anthropology, you have to go, at sparkle, I thought, what were you doing at the mall? Right. Not a huge, no, it would not have been my choice. Okay. Right? Yeah, it yeah. was something that has been planned and the time and the whatever. It was okay. done. Okay. Um, but so I go into anthropology, which I always get some kind of a holiday gift for somebody at, at anthropology every year. So I okay. went in, they had all these amazing sweaters. You guys, you never feel more confident in your ability to save money than if you were gonna buy a sweater at anthropology. Because they had ones that were like Super scrap, but beautiful, like neon pink cables, neon yellow, like beautiful, but scratchy as heck. And of course, I'm like dissecting the label, recycled wool and nylon, super scratchy for over $200. Mm -hmm. 
So you're like, oh, I could totally do it for less totally. than that. This does not look hard. So anyway, I'm shopping around, blah, blah, blah. And I asked this lady a question about these glass Christmas trees. Because I was like, I have no resistance to yeah. holiday decorations. And they were kind of shimmery. They're really cool. So I'm asking her a question about these glass Christmas trees. And she goes, are you one of the grocery girls? That's what I did. I just went. She goes, I said, well, you're blowing my mind right now. And she said, no, like, honestly, my mom is a big knitter, which, you know, we're at that age where people are like, my mom loves you. Okay. Um, I'll take that. Um, she goes, and we live, you know, in this neighborhood and she wants to get back into knitting. And I was like, I just, I was, I felt my face flush, beet red. And she said something about people recognizing you. And I said, no, no. Like, not in the real world. No, maybe at a yarn store, not at anthropology. And I was kind of, like, just shy about it, right? It was, like, caught me off guard. But she was very sweet. Did you ask if she wanted your autograph? Right. And then I was, like, you know, the line forms here. Do you want me to sign your butt cheek? <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you have a Sharpie? Uh, it was adorable. She was really sweet and really funny. And uh, her mom lives really close to us and is a knitter. So shout out to the mom whose daughter works at Anthropology you and is very sweet. Really? And it was one of those moments that was just like, I don't even get it. This is not happening. This is not happening. Okay, that happens to you more than you think. It never happens to me. Maybe it's my, maybe she's heard my, our voice in the background and recognized the voice or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, it was hilarious you guys I love that. it was did you say um it never happens first of all do you want to tap for a photo Here, no i was like here's jody's cell number feel free to call her anytime um it was hilarious though it was funny do you know who i am i love hearing about neighborhood knitters yeah, basically that's what i got from the interaction her mom watches us really close by so it's another local oh. knitter so it was do you know really why? sweet she should reach out we should I'm going to say this. Listen. But I'm not going to mean it. Linda. Let me just say this. Should we start like once every like three weeks rotation, like meeting at a coffee shop to knit in the evening um, or, or late afternoon? Well, all of the local yarn shops have knit night opportunities. It doesn't always work for me. Like sometimes it's right. like early afternoon. Like, do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Listen, I would love to make some kind of a local event. I think it would be super fun. Like once a month, knit night. It's not certainly not going to be a weekly event. Right. We know that. Right. Once okay. a month I can handle. It's kind of like book club. Exactly. Yeah. I would yeah. love it. Star says do it on Zoom. Oh, that's fun too. That's even a better idea because then we can, you know, be in our pajamas yeah. if we want. And we don't have to go anywhere. And you can't miss it. You say, no. can't say I can't go. No. That's right. No, you're right. I do love, I miss going to knit night. It was something I used to do. Every Thursday yeah. for a couple of hours, hang out with knitters. Um, and if you do go to knit night or you have that thing happening in your, it's you're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky. Our shops have it. It's just, I never go. I know. I'm such a homebody, 100% a homebody. And I say this. You're so And funny. then the day before, I start thinking two days before where I have to go, how am I going to get out of this? I know. And then the day of. Do I and it's not, say I'm sick? Do I? How do I get out of it? It's not being antisocial. It's like literally I just, you know, everybody has only a certain amount of time that you, is just your own, right? But once a month, I could absolutely do something like that. <gasps> and if it was like. Let's rent a home. Right. Party it up. Chocolate, it's going to be catered. Chocolate fountain. <laughs> And 3 a.m. Knitter does a virtual knit night once a month. Oh, see, there you go. That's yeah. such a good idea. People love And Zoom. put that comment below the video later so people can join you. What about in January when not everyone slows down, but the pace sometimes can be not, not quite as busy. As busy. Um, I wonder if we do an evening knit Zoom. You're in your pajamas at home. I'm in my pajamas at home once a week. Well, I thought we were doing that in two weeks. We are, but this is January. Okay. So in two weeks' time, we will not be doing the Thursday morning podcast. We are going to be doing Saturday at noon-ish, something like that. Yeah. 
noon. Love we it. haven't got that far yet. Yeah. But we did think the Saturday would be great. More people are off work. The 16th. Anytime we do sort of a Saturday thing, people are like, yay, because I can finally catch you live. Yeah. It's going to be Zoom so that we can see you as well as you can see us and we can have a conversation and we can, you know, you can plan to have maybe a little bit of holiday cookies and whatever happening for yourself. But... We were going to stream it again through YouTube so you could don't have to be on Zoom. Didn't we talk about that? The, I don't know. The same way we did it um, during COVID where you could... No, but we couldn't see everybody. Yes, we could. Yeah, we could. It no. just... Oh, oh yeah. no, yeah. that knit night. Remember yeah. that thing we did with Andrea? Yeah, you can still do that. We can still do it. Yeah. Okay. So then if you don't want to be... So just... So you, you don't have to have your camera on if you don't want to, but we could all be together if you yeah. want to just hang out. And then we'll upload a two -way it thing. to YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Still through Zoom, but it's linked through a YouTube. And so best of both worlds. So Saturday, December 16th, I'm sure people have nothing to do at that point uh, on a Saturday. 12 o'clock Mountain. And join us. Okay. If you're going to be looking for the Zoom link, we will make sure we add it below this video yeah. closer to the day. We'll actually put it on our webpage too. We'll send an email. Yeah. Instagram and here. Yeah. So we'll put it as, as all the places. Um, and if you can join, that would be great. If you could join for 20 minutes, that would be awesome. If you can join mm -hmm. for the whole time, that would be awesome. <gasps> you guys. So that'll be the middle of December. Have fun and Isn't then we'll exciting? take a break yeah then we're gonna have a little break to the with new year. family time um, um get ready and organized i still wanna i don't want to work right up i want to be able to um you should shut your business down then too that friday should be done because you can't people can't get it before much before i'll have dates cut off yeah. like it'll yeah. be on there that that that'll be the weekend we cut off shipping right and then we'll resume in the new year. Right. Because at that point, you're not getting it for Christmas. Right. Right? Especially with the volume of mail that goes out. Yeah. So. So that's right. That'll be the 16th. We'll make that the cutoff for shipping for Frankie Gray and for Grocery Girls. Right. And it'll just be a, a, a wrap up. Let's all know oh, together. That seems like it's coming soon. Yeah. Soon, soon, soon. I love it. Um, it'll be nice to have just some time with the family. Yes. Like some time where everybody's able to hang out a little bit. Yes. Yeah. You guys, it's... Guess what tomorrow is? Um, my birthday? December. I know. I'm so excited. Jody, Is your tree up? No, no but that's this weekend. Is it? Yes. Um, have you is yours up? Yes. Your tree is up? Yes, but that's the only thing. It's decorated and everything? Yes. When did you do that? Saturday. Oh, okay. But that's the only thing. Nothing else around my house is done. Yeah. I only like to make the mess once, so. Yeah. But now I feel like not doing anything else. You don't need to do a ton. No. And I actually, I don't have a ton. Yeah. I don't have a ton. Yeah. But it's fun. Yeah. Did you guys notice what I'm wearing? Let's talk knitting. Jeez Louise. You know, I, I bailed on the ribbing. I didn't do three inches. But it was long enough. It is long enough. It doesn't need it. I couldn't do another stitch of twisted ribbing. I didn't have it in me. At the finish line of your sweater, yeah. No wonder people quit early. Yeah, and no, then they, it's true. It's I was true. just done. I should have bet on it. I could have called that. Did you? You were, you were. You said I'm doing it. I'm absolutely doing it. I'm here for it. Do you guys want to see a picture of my tree? I've done the same thing. Well, it doesn't do it justice because the lights... oh, it looks very. Full and beautiful. I went classic Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's very um, eclectic with lot tons of. So, did you go buy a bunch of decorations? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I, did. I bought a fully decorated tree and had it delivered. <laughs> Santa, bought that's it. why it's done. Yeah. No, I'm really excited for for that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure Jeff really is too. It's not his favorite. I decorate the tree. Everybody, no, nobody actually offers to help, which I'm okay with that. Do you know what I saw once in this giant multi-million dollar home? Not myself, just online. 
It was a bookcase. <gasps> I saw that. That opened up. And the it was a closet. damn Christmas tree was in there fully decorated. Yeah. You open it up and long. it pushes out the tree and you close it and it sucks the tree back until next Can year. Can you even? No. No. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Worth every penny of whatever it costs to build that into your house. Mm. Especially for a big tree. Like they're a hassle to put together and stuff. Lifestyles of Jeff the probably famous. hates it because he is the crappy part of it, right? Like. He'll assemble it and make sure the lights are working. That's my job. And then I get to do just the fun part of it. I help a little. I do the rest. Let's I be shouldn't honest. complain because Shane does the whole exterior. No, you should not. No. I would not want one minute of that job. No, it's awful. And our tree, let's be honest, is three pieces. So, so <laughs> suck it up. Like You're not allowed to complain. <laughs> That's so funny. You would think after 30 whatever years married that things would just be, it's not no. different. Every year it's the same. Okay, can you please tell us what you're wearing? No, you were starting yours. No, because I got to pull you up You totally the left us hanging. Remember? It's Jared it's Flood's. It's my first sweater. It's my first sweater by Jared Flood. Right? My Highly recommend. Raglan. Let me check. I, I think it might be my first raglan. I won't talk too much about it again. The only thing you guys that I didn't do because I didn't have my, couldn't find my blocking wires. Besides three inches of, of ribbing. <laughs> it needed to be blocked a little more this way because this is bunching a little. This is not going to bunch like this when I properly block it, right? It's going to sit like this. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> so you didn't block it? I did block it, but I, then I couldn't find my um, blocking needles. What are they okay. called? Okay. Oh. So I just had to kind of smooth it with my hands. What are hands. those called? Those Knitter's Pride Blocking pins. wires. Pins. Pins, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is one of the best gifts you can give a knitter crocheter that doesn't have them. Right. Because I needed to like block it just a touch more so it sits properly. Otherwise, it was a little bit bunchy. But um, I, I, I mean, I, I can't tell you enough about this pattern. Um, it's still the same. Um, from last week and the week before I tried it on. The pattern was amazing. It is a great worsted weight. tutorial. Worsted weight. I knit mine in um, Geraram Natura's worsted spun no, woolen spun um, Gilead worsted weight yarn. Okay, you got, I can't find what that sweater's called. I'll hold the phone. It's not my first raglan or my first sweater. I don't know. But it is an amazing, I have the pattern. Did I have to buy it? Yes, because it was only $5, remember? First raglan, not my. First raglan. First raglan. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you went on and on about the modifications that are included in the pattern, that it's a really great workshop. Yes. And a great, literally, first venture into it because they give you so much information about how to modify for yeah. stripes and sleeves and all of that kind of stuff. Hello from Athens, Greece. Julie, good morning. Oh my god. Yeah, goodness. I loved I loved every minute. I really wanted a very blank canvas so I could just do these fun stripes. I was just gonna say, so this this for you was all about single striped sweater. Like yeah. you had all these individual balls of the same yarn, and you your imagination was this is what you pictured. Is this what you oh, it pictured? Okay. It's relaxed. Um, I love extra positive ease. The sleeve, I would not say balloon necessarily. Mm. Balloon usually goes out and then Okay. In. This is just a gathered at the bottom. Exactly. We talked about that where there was no, uh, very little increasing done until you got to the bottom. And just like a beautiful, uh, actually, this was four stitches between the deep the increases on either side I of the raglan. I love that detail. It should have been six. I just did four. Okay. That's Why the, did you do that? I don't know. Just because you felt like it. I guess. So did you add those stitches somewhere else or did you, you just had moved your markers? You just moved your markers instead of, so you cast on the right number of stitches, but instead of putting six for the raglan, yes. you did four. So you have the right number yes. of stitches. Okay. Good call. Um, 
how many rounds did you make your stripes? Because this, this is the only conversation about this. Because Jody is not going to do a Ravelry page. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's hard to tell by the really it's light light sample, but it's a wider. Which you guys, I don't for I, I don't ask me why I did four instead of the six stitches in between there. It's beautiful the way it's, it is here. It is beautiful, and but that's the fun of making our own stuff. Because you can make that tiny decision for yourself just because you feel like it. And it's not oh, going to change. You can see it a little bit better here. Yeah. So it's just giving that wider detail. And so simple, right? It's just all stockinette still. But because of the increases, it's giving you that. It looks beautiful, Jody. It's such a gorgeous The letter. only thing I didn't do was short rows. Because that will change unless... Yes. You could really f fiddle it. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, because you're going back and forth. Your stripes will be off. So you're, so the short rows create more rows of knitting, mm -hmm. but you're talking about you wanting to maintain the stripes in the same number of rows. So I don't know how you do that. I know there's got to be a way, but you know what? Let's just knit. There's got to be a wizard. Oh, can I just say, I have... Lolly's advent that I got. I have not opened one Jody, envelope. That's why I'm excited tomorrow. We're going to start our Woolens and Nosh striped socks. Yes. We're going to start opening our advent from Ocean Loops, which I did last year. And it's so much fun. And I have to say, so Ocean Loops does the beautiful stitch markers that we love so much. Yeah. Um, and last year she did her first advent and I jumped on it. And then this year I got lucky because there was part of a leftover advent. And so at the last minute, I, oh. I'm so happy to get one. But there's no pressure to make something out of this advent. Like you don't have to, it's not time consuming with, I mean, I love getting the minis and the yarn and all of that. But then it's also like, well, it's a project that needs to be made somehow. Yeah. yeah. But these, it's just like enjoy the day enjoy the stitch marker and uh, i it better be nice uh it's phenomenal phenomenal i remember because you shared some with me i did um and, and we'll continue to do that so the day of our videos in december i i would open it here on live and i love and i don't know i thought you guys might enjoy that um sandy from firefly notes and Robin of Yarnbirds also treated the podcast to the Firefly Notes advent calendar. Can I open one today? It one's for you. No. Yes. Ah. Yes. Really? So that, yes. So she said, I've sent a couple for you guys to do for your giveaways in December, which also start tomorrow. And a couple, she said, I'd really love it if you, you know, if you want to treat yourself, please, like, I want, I sent you one for yourself. Oh. So, Jody. I'm not going to show it. It's so, I'm it's so beautiful. Listen, the guys. stitch marker advents are a really great way to go too. If you, oh. you know, maybe get, you know, want to treat yourself. There's so many yarn ones, which are great, but these are also, and lots of local yarn shops carry this. This is beautiful. So your local yarn shop might is have it. all it. stitch markers? Oh, I don't know. I've never, ah. 25 days, you open the little fairy doors. Oh, 20 round stitch markers and five progress keepers. See, how exciting. <gasps> I love that. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yes, very much thank you. But I thought since we were talking about stitch markers that, that we, we could sneak that in there. For... Love it. So we'll do some holiday giveaways starting tomorrow. And that's very fun. Ah! And they'll, they, they will get to you. You know, I feel like maybe we do 10 days of them or something like that. And then everybody will get it before the end of the month and close, the, the, hopefully. The, you know what? Even if you don't, it's it'll a, be it's a nice a surprise in January. surprise whenever it arrives. Surprises are good. Surprise. I think so, most yeah. of the time. Most of the time. Um, yes? No, I don't know what I was thinking. I lost my I train was thinking of next week. Oh, my God. I have a colonoscopy. <gasps> Yes, exactly. You guys. Uh, it's good. You're proactive about your colon. Your colon says thank you. My colon is going to be clean as a whistle. I hope you have penitent. Oh. Or Isles oh. paste. 
You guys, yeah. I can't even. Star had one last week. She did? Oh my God, I'm texting you, Star. It's, uh, but you need to do She's it. She's like, suck it up. Who cares? <laughs> no. Um, oh. We'll, we'll circle back. No, I will be too traumatized <laughs> to talk about it after. Okay. She has tips and tricks. Girl, I'm texting you okay. later. Okay. Tips and tricks are my favorite. That's hilarious. I literally went to the drugstore yesterday and got the jug of the stuff that you need to chug a lug. You, and what's the... To create an explosion. But you start prepping now. Yeah. Yeah. That starts today. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty fun. She said, are you taking the pill or the liquid prep? Oh, there's Both. pills? Liquid. Liquid is what the... But what are you taking now? Liquid as well? No, some kind of... It's just like a, a regular pill? daily... Stool they want. No, it's like a... Anyway. Oh my God. It's twice... Stool. And not the sitting kind. And not the kind you stand on. <laughs> um. Anyway, you guys, there you go. Mm. All I want for holidays is very clean colon and someone just I... said do not fear the colon no i'm listen george is like it doesn't sound so bad mm. I was like, okay then you go yeah. i love the cleansing process okay 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 it okay good. that bad you'll be good i love the support thank you we'll be Mwah. we'll be thinking of you okay let's talk about your sweater okay way more fun topic finish my sweater almost um, so this was the Alpine Bloom by Caitlin Hunter that was so, I knit it off gauge. We kind of talked about it that the actual pattern has another leaf motif that goes here. I liked the depth of this yoke here for myself. And so I quit the pattern, um, the chart right yeah. here and separated for sleeves and then continued to knit, um, I made kind of a long sleeve. Like it goes to the top of my thumb. When I put my arm down, it's kind of cozy. Um, this sleeve is not quite finished. You're so close. I'm so close. I'm only a, like a few more inches, maybe two more inches of stockinette and then the ribbing. But I thought, you know what, you guys? It's so close. Did you block this? Yes. I blocked the sweater the Tuesday night. This yarn blooms. This is... Um, Sunday Morning DK by Sonder Yarn and mm -hmm. then Frankie Gray Fibers in their fingering and mohair held together. Um, but yes, this Sunday Morning DK blooms like and softens even more. I think it's next to skin soft before you wash it. It's beautiful. But it blooms and it creates Love. such a beautiful fabric. And Jody, I am obsessed with your black cherry color. I think it is so gorgeous. Thank you. It's really, really pretty. And I really think the combination yeah. created a sweater that I'm just going to, I'm going to love wearing this. It's very kind of neutral with a pop, right? Like it's, I feel like it's kind of statement-ish, right? It's very beautiful. It's got this gorgeous textured ribbing everywhere. I actually thought when I first saw you, you repeated some of the texture on the cuff. Yeah. And the bottom ribbing. And yeah. there's color in the in all of it. There is. There's a tiny bit of color work in the ribbing. I didn't do... I feel like that's a real pretty touch. I do too. On this I think it's gorgeous. So there is the Alpine Bloom Tea by Caitlin Hunter, which is short short sleeved with little lace details. This is the Alpine Bloom no. Autumn Alpine? Yeah. Autumn Alpine. Um and it's got you know, textured ribbing. It's at, they're actually knit in the exact same yarn in the pattern. Yeah. I don't know why my brain thought, oh, well, obviously it's like heavier for winter. Like if it's the winter version or the thicker version, but it's not. That is, do not make the mistake. It's the exact same yarns in this version, but the style is different. And she's got short rows at the bottom that you can make a high-low hem if you want to that are optional. Um, I didn't do this part of the ribbing on my cuffs or hem. Okay. I just wanted more of ribbing that would kind of blend more, yeah. not as, and so I just kept the kind of the statement ribbing, I guess, up top. Yeah. So I'm calling it my autumn, almost autumn alpine because it doesn't have the full um, chart. But honestly, I, this is what I pictured when I saw this yarn and the colors and everything. I, I think the it, combination of colors is classic. It turned out, exactly what I hoped yeah. for. 
I'm a little bit bummed that it, but it doesn't have the whole oh, chart, yeah, yeah. right? But I don't. So I, good. I'm honestly 100 percent thrilled. So it was a lesson uh-huh. in gauge and depth of yolk. So I I feel like that's my favorite kind of thing where you learn something. Now I'm going to take that with me to more patterns. You're yeah, forget it. I'm going to forget about it, and I'm never going to. I'm going to be in the same crappy boat next time. I don't think so. I really won't be. You came to an obstacle and you overcame it. And I was like, Phew. yeah. Um, and here's my knitter's caddy by Hohe and Co. But look what's on it. This cute little. I don't even know. This is from the Crafty Jackalope. She's got, you know, what I don't know what these are called, but they're adorable and you can put them on anything. So you have yours on your project bag. This was a special. Mine didn't come like that. Mine came. Uh, mine has a, I've got another one too with a different hook. Oh, yeah. So these are all kind of taut. Like, it's such a cute idea. You can Love put it. it on anything. Love it. You could like pin it on a sweater. Pom pom drops. Pom pom pins. Oh, pom pom pins. Um, okay, so you could pin it on anything. Crazy she came up with that name. Right. Where did that come from? I have no idea. So you can go to Crafty Jackalope and check those out. There's colors and um, different combinations there, but it's so cute. And it fit perfectly over the leather strap of this bag. I love it. I know. So I'm considering this sweater done. I will make a Ravelry page at some point. You it's, will never see it again. It's not there. Yeah, you'll just see it now when I'm wearing it. Yeah. It's called a Dingle Dangle. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of friends uh, in here fuzzy today. Fuzzy Dingle Dangle. Fuzzy Dingle Balls. Yeah. We have a lot of people that have said this morning, I haven't even caught you live before. I'm well, so glad you guys that's were able awesome to join us. How fun. That is wonderful. Now you can see us shit the bed live. Do you want to hear? Yes, I do. A secret? Is it? Um, I just bought tickets to see Mean Girls on in January. Mean Girls, this is the Broadway across Canada that comes. I'm like, and, you're going to the movie? No, but there's Mean Girls the musical on Broadway. And so I bought Georgia tickets for Christmas. And I can Georgia! Com- I can confidently say yes. that she doesn't watch this. So. Ah, I love it. I know. I find some people really hard to buy treat at holidays gifts and stuff like that this is what she always wants and i didn't know yeah, what it. to get um so that's i'm totally fun. downsizing and streamlining i don't want to make it a giant gift fest it, it it literally is it would be her choice that's right like yeah. something thoughtful yeah and it doesn't have to be quantity but it yeah. has to yeah that's so it's kind, kind of, of turned into, into the that. thing right so I buy her Granny's tickets, gonna want to steal that idea. and then I say, uh, "You can take whoever you want. You don't have to take me." Yeah, and she always does. So <laughs> that's so funny. Fingers crossed, I get to go to this Good one thing too. You like musicals? Oh, love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so. Funny. I know you would die. Um, but okay. Mean Girls. Who doesn't love Mean Girls? I'm going to see Saltburn tomorrow. What's that? I will tell you. You after. told me not to look it up. Don't look it up. But okay. you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go see it. Um, okay. So you guys, I I'm forgot two things last week that I should have brought, and I totally forgot. Okay. Um, I released my hat, Jody. People have been asking. I called it the November hat. Oh, so I love uncreative. this hat. No, I love it. It's now like, you've got eleven more hats to make well i went through the days of the week i know so now the month <laughs> um it's so beautiful it slip stitches in in like every time you just move it one but the simplicity of that and the strikingness jody and all the colors that you've included like this is a scrappy masterpiece and Thank it's you. gorgeous so um dk love is there any other way to write right. Um, DK weight yarn, and then either use scraps of different, several different colors. One color is beautiful. So just having the slip stitches, one color, right. this is, this is more than one color. You know what else would be great? This is for, um, hand spun, variegated, like wild variegated skeins. You don't even know what to do with. That would be such a cool yeah. thing too. Cause you could hold fingering double. Yeah. Make it 
easy and accessible for you to knit. You don't have to buy yarn for it. Yeah. But these are knit in Frankie Gray fiber, and we do have kits where you get the free pattern if you buy the kit. Right now? Yeah. Awesome. Always. When I do these hats in our yarn. Jody, that's so great. So we've got several kits, um, DK kits, or you could make your own with two contrasting colors. So it's two minis and a full skein of DK? Yeah. Okay. So that's not a ton of yarn. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you're doing a scrappy, you but really I mean, don't no, this, need... This one in particular, this is changing. This is three minis in this one. So you can do whatever you want. But, Actually, but... these sets are three color minis. Okay. And three a full skein. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Jody, it's beautiful. Um, and then you guys, um, our kit oh, yes. that we have just a very few of left. I know. And then they're gone. And people should still be able to get them for holidays if, yeah. they, if they want by now. Um, I yeah. cast on... I wanted to get further... But I cast on this hat in um, our color set. Is this the same hat? Um, or is this a new hat you're doing? No, it's the same hat. It's I shouldn't say that. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. It's not this hat 100%, and I didn't realize it until I got through. If you guys notice, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this co same color bump twice and the same. Oh, okay. And then I'm going over and then two up, one over, two up, one over, two up. This one, once you knit the pattern like this, you guys, you're going to be able to just do one color, move over one, one. Oh, do you know I totally what I mean? see. So it's the, it's, it's the same repeat. It's just shifted quicker. Right. Um, Jody, I love it. I love the colors Jody's together. Colors Your fun. colors are amazing. But yes. This color, you guys, this slate, this is slate blue. Oh, I love it. And it's so tealy. I love it. It's really a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then just really beautiful complimentary minis. I, and I brought a bunch of patterns today because sometimes people don't know, like we've talked yeah. about, don't know what to do with minis, yeah. especially this time of year. And that's the thing. If the pattern in the kit doesn't float your boat, that's totally fair. You can knit whatever you want with the yarn. Sometimes, right? yeah, it's sometimes nice to show people some different things right. that they can knit. Okay. I'm just going to show one thing. So this is, oh no, I'm going to show so that all cute. together. Just a sec, hang on. I don't use that. Okay, so here's one example. Oh yes. Um, this is a brand new shawl that came out and it's called Trifle, Trifle Advent. Advent. Ooh, it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I love that that's a sti simple stitch patterns that change. Yeah. Um, but they keep repeating. So exactly. you're, it's, it's engaging, but, yeah. you know, not complicated, I guess. So yeah. I think that would be very, very nice to It's knit. a really pretty triangle shawl. I, I think see it's gorgeous. that. That really wasn't a so great... So that's a great idea for... Advent. Minis, scrappies, whatever That really think. wasn't a great transition from the DK set we were talking about. But um, any... You know, DK hat, you guys, that you want to customize or mittens right. or what have you. Um, just because it's written for a cowl pattern, yeah. just know that there's a million it's patterns. It's so true. It's so true. From. Yeah. Um, the colors are phenomenal. I would choose those colors again today because I think they're so complimentary and beautiful. And they would be gorgeous in anything, whatever you choose to knit. So I love that. Um, do you have any more knitting? I have some knitting. I have a little bit. Okay. I started a hat. And this is all one by one rib, worsted weight yarn on a 3.75 millimeter needle. God, that's it's beautiful. the basic beanie by Tin Can Knits, and I'm doing it in the app. So I started the project in the app and I put in all my information. Oh. That yarn and, is so pretty. And then the in the app it says, okay, do you want to do two by two rib, one by one, three by one? So I picked the ribbing that I wanted. My idea is to hopefully have this finished for my son, but he likes the really long. Did like, you fold it? Yes. Or just deep fold brim. So I'm literally I'm gonna do this till the end of the Would you take that to a movie? I could. It's um, it's very simple. And there's no, once you cast on and you do your ribbing, it's inches and inches and inches. How if, many? If 
like, well, the pattern says nine and a half, but I'm going to see how much yarn I have left on the ball. I think I can do longer than that with the one ball of yarn. I love But I'll double that. check it. And the yarn I got, this is something I picked up when I was at Statement Junkie a couple weeks ago. It's wooly. It is wooly. It is wooly. But it's superwash. It's superwash Australian virgin wool, Jody. I feel like that's going to... Why are you looking at me when you say that? I'm not. Why? Definitely not. It's very wooly, but a beautifully wooly... Um, it feels like wool. Like, I, it does not feel like superwash to me, but it doesn't feel super scratchy either. It feels like if you love natural wool, that to me, this doesn't feel slick like superwash. It's KFI Collection, which is Knitting Fever. Mm. And they donated so much to our breast cancer giveaway. And I had no idea this was their yarn line. It's actually a marled color changing yarn. I actually love the, the, that about it. Me too. And it gives dimension. And they um, they have so many colors in this line. They had some that were quite bright. Yeah. But I knew I wanted two pretty conservative hats. So I got the gray. This is called Everest. And I'm not sure what this is called. The ball band has it's like a very... disappeared. But it's super denim-y. And you can kind of see that it's changing a little bit. But it's not going to be a um, drastic... Change. So it's, it's all like two denim or three blues. colors of plies together. It's yeah. very pretty. Let me tell you, 20 bucks. Yeah. So 100% wool. Um, 100% wool, they say. And it does say super wash. It doesn't yeah. feel like it at all. Super wash. It does not feel super washy. To me. But not bad in a bad way. No. no but, like you know, that. I mean, when I'm knitting for gifts. What I, needle are you knitting on? It's small. What? It's 3.75 millimeter. What is this? Wor worsted. Like if I was doing this by myself, I might have gone. But here's fair fair notice. I did not do a gauge swatch. But this ribbing stretches like heck. It's going to be big enough. I would not have used a 3.75, although you're getting beautiful fabric. I know. I, I, I wouldn't have chosen it either, but I think I've been proven wrong because it's minute, going to be a yeah, really nice hat. I agree. The minute I felt it, I thought, oh, this is going to be warm. I would have gone to a four maybe for ribbing because you don't want like I know if I'm doing stockinette 4.5 or 5 or whatever but yeah. for ribbing you want it to keep its shape nicely yeah anyway I'm loving it and I'm loving the yarn and I got excited and bought two balls thinking I would make two hats I don't know that I'm going to be able to make two ribbed hats like this no I'm gonna though Jeff's birthday is the first week in January I was planning on making him one too so maybe for his birthday um, but that's it. I'm loving it. I love it too. Shout out to the LYS and, uh, beautiful wool. I love it. Okay. You guys, there was a couple of patterns that really jumped out at me this week that are brand new. They're size inclusive. Oh, that's so pretty. They're Jody. not knit on <gasps> thin yarn. You guys, this Montrose cardigan by Cheryl Mokhtari. Mokhtari. I instantly thought. That's beautiful. I would have, I would love to knit this. Yeah. A couple of things that pop right out when I saw it. It's DK with lace. Oh, DK and mohair. I believe it's... So kind of like a worsted weight gauge. I believe it was like 19 stitches. Ooh, I love that. But look, it's these garter bump um, rows that are... It's it's garter bump rows and stockinette rows that give you that beautiful 3D texture. Classic I shape. I can actually get that gauge with fingering and mohair too. So if you swatch, if the gauge is yes. 19, um, I'm pretty sure I could use fingering and mohair for that, which is awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. It's, I really love, oh, Star says it's 17 stitches. Okay, thank you, Star. So, I mean, the fabric looks beautiful and gorgeous. I love a classic sweater. This, to me, screamed classic. Yeah. Look, jeans and a white tank. Yeah. Or a white t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And it would be, honestly, so cute, kind of cropped. Did you guys like our sweater episode last week? We got such good feedback. There were very good feedback from that. I, we had so much fun. That was super fun. Yeah. And it's fun to, 
you know, it's kind of knit night ish where you're sharing the things that were a disaster and the things that you've learned. Um, I love that about knitting. I love that about sharing projects and stuff like that. Well, sometimes just demystifying and sharing some really great patterns can be so helpful. Like it might give you that person a jump to go. It seem it can seem overwhelming to go somewhere to Ravelry. Say you've never knit a sweater before yeah. and you think, where do I even start? What yeah. is a good pattern? What how do I know a pattern that's gonna be written in a way that I'm gonna find it easy to do? So mm -hmm. I do love recommending patterns from, you know, that I have personally knit and think this is so clear that you want people to not be frustrated and to feel accomplished and to be able to do this. Because you know everybody can, you can do it, right? We you took can do some it. of the guesswork out. Uh, listen, a lot of, a lot, and sometimes we take it for granted when we talk about things that Everyone should just know we're, what we're not talking as about. clear as we can be sometimes. But sometimes um, taking the guesswork out and just kind of like breaking it down. Mm -hmm. That's what we say about the classes. When we take a class, we think, well, I know about this topic. Mm -hmm. There's rarely a time you come away and you haven't learned something. Oh, a hundred percent. So even though we, you know, not we're experts, but we're well versed in sweater knitting, we think it was such a great topic so people can either learn something for the first time or be inspired to cast on yeah. a sweater. I want to dive into like saddle shoulder sweaters and things like that. Like I want to expect, like yeah. what we have done, I feel like we are very comfortable with, but I do love different constructions. And that Calyx sweater that I did by Elizabeth Doherty had a totally different construction. And I remember thinking how much fun I had knitting it because it was like not just straight, you know, knit the yoke, separate for sleeves, stock a knit to the bottom, do some ribbit. Like there was more involved. And I found that kind of almost like a knitting adventure. And I loved it. Um, something I meant to say with this, you can see I still have little um, stitch markers yes, happening tell me why you did here that. and one up here. I don't measure, I don't count the rounds of a sleeve. I know a lot of people count rounds for I their, don't. to do the length of, to I make mean, that's them the exactly way you the same. exact. But so what I do is I mark the very first round yeah. of the sleeve. This is my, after my pickup, this is my first round of oh, knitting. Yeah. And this is the last round of my sleeve before I did the, because I did a decrease of about 20 stitches to get the cuff to come in, in a little bit, but not all the way. Mm. I really love the way the cuff turned out. So I left these, I blocked the sweater and everything, but I've left these in so that I can do that on my second, so I have my stitch marker here love it and I have to say I still marvel at the underarm part of a sweater when you're do you do that like where you're just like it's my challenge to make this look as seamless as possible and if I did not know how to duplicate stitch you guys I I wouldn't duplicate stitch is my secret for I don't duplicate stitch uh, but I do use my tail and just wind it and like it, a cinch kind of like I'll go or around I'll and then pull it. the stitches and just, you know, tug a little. Like That's I'll just... kind of duplicate stitch if you're following. Oh, on the inside. Oh, on the inside. Well, that's fine. I See, that's a little hole. But do I care? No. No. And that's the thing. Don't lose your marbles over it because hand knitting, it doesn't have to be perfect. But what I will ultimately have a stitch that's too stretched out. Yes. And so I'll duplicate stitch over that stretched out stitch and snug it in. So it's basically taking the stretch. That's stitch. what I'm doing on the inside. Right. Listen, that's a game changer. It, it is. I used to kind of weave in the tail and try and like, let me tell you, there was no method to the madness. It is the duplicate stitch on top and then snug it a little bit. And I tell you, magic, mm. magic, mm -hmm. right? Love it. I love it. So that's a good thing to learn if you are always feeling like your underarms are not neat and tidy and the I, under your sweater I know and I try when you go to add on because most times in sweaters a lot of times um, when you're separating for sleeves you'll cast on some extra stitches yeah. like once you separate you'll cast on some stitches and continue across the front or back I try so hard like not to stretch yeah. any of those impossible yeah 
It's it's a little bit tough. A little bit of those straight. It's, and I tell you, there's not much to do, but a duplicate stitch on either end of that to tighten up any loose areas yeah. is all I end up doing. Yeah. But it's a game changer. Yeah. Love it. And so we really never talked about that last time. And so it is something that I do every single sweater. It makes a difference. Yeah. It's funny. You do it in the front. I do on the back. Yeah. Whatever. It works. Still works. It is. The I same get, thing. I get nice um, underarms. Yeah. Right. I love it. Okay. Any more knitting? No, but I do have another pattern. Jody. What's it's that? Amazing. That'll be next time. Um, I was going to show my color work hats. They're not published There was published literally yet. somebody that asking about this in Ravelry. This, Some, this saying this week. I'm, I've been waiting for this hat. Okay. Just you, so you know. Okay. I was going to say it's not today, but I will have them in Ravelry by this weekend. Okay. By the end of the weekend, you guys, the pattern is ninety five percent done. I've someone even reached out and said, "Oh, I wanted to knit it for a great gift. Sure, here, take it. It's not finished, but here's the chart." Right. I no. don't care. Well, whatever. It's your pattern. It's um, but people just loved it and are anticipating it. So anyway, that's fun. It's so good. Sorry. It is so it is good. So fun. And then here's another one. It's and gorgeous. And also, you guys, like, we have tons of these mini sets. And this is what you're going to... This is... This is This a, is only minis? Like, you don't yeah. need a full skein. It's just... A, no, a, the main colors. The, whatever you cast on is, is a, a full, full skein. skein. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this would be great if you have DK Advent. Right. Because or really... Or hold fingering double. Because really, you, you don't can, have to have a full skein. For this over... You could just do... Right. You know, Make sure you... Right. Somebody said they love the pom-pom. We have, you guys, a giant pom-pom sale in our shop right now. And if I don't say, I'll, I'll forget. Um, it's huge. It's buy one, get one free on any discontinued pom-pom, which is phenomenal yeah. uh, on whatever is left because there was a big sale over Small Business Saturday. So thank you guys We're so much for supporting. We're kind of paring down just... Some of the yeah. listings just yeah. to curate a more polished selection. Yeah. So buy one, get one free of discontinued and buy one, get one half off for all the regular ones that we're still going to continue keeping. So you'll see there's a discontinued section. There's also now eight of the sparkle color pom-poms. So let me show you, you guys, because I, you, I showed you a couple times ago the pom-pom colors we had. Yeah. That's and so pretty. We had black, <gasps> we had white, we had purple. And hot pink. And hot pink. So Janet's done it again, and this is four brand new ones wow. as of two days ago. Wow. This color, I would love a sweater in this color. Look at that color. I'm and sorry. These are spectacular. And there's just this hint of sparkle, you guys. It's not like a full-on glitter. But it's there. It's definitely there. And it's a little bit special and sparkly. And it's gorgeous. Wow, that purple's amazing. But you know why? Because it's color on color. The sparkle is the same color as the fur. Right. Right. Anyway, and they're very and dramatic, gray. fluffy. Gray. Yes, the gray. <gasps> Do you want more fun? Yes. I feel like Georgia. Would Georgia wear sparkle on a box? Yes. Here, you should have that too. Georgia... Well, you okay, never... I have things to talk about more sparkle. This is such a good segue, you guys. Look at... But if you're looking for pom-poms, if you like to knit hats for gifts, we just want to let you know that there's this giant sale. So you can get a great deal. You can even get free pom-poms right Look now. Look how the pom-pom cha just changes a hat. Totally. And what about this? Yeah. Like, you can either make it more tonal or more punchy. Oh. So good. And these are made by hand. Janet, who's yarn bowler, is phenomenal. She makes phenomenal pom-poms. And these are a tie-on one with grosgrain ribbon and a button. And they just, you can change them um, in about a minute. So if you like your hat flashy this week, great. If not, put on neutral next week. Here's a neutral 18. This is a neutral 15. You guys, look at the black. Yeah, I love Oh, I'm look at the black. Now. Okay, I love it. Do you want it? 
I need to go shopping in our own Look, shop this, because I could totally, oh, This that's is one so of my pretty. all-time favorite hats because you could have a neutral, but it's got like the dark palm, um, the dark kisses on the ends, but it's the softest it's rose. It's like creamy and yeah. blush. And then cream in the middle. That's really pretty. Hang on. Oh, this, this one I love. Look at this one. Oh, this one would look so good on this hat that I just made. See, it's oh. got blush and like a burgundy, you guys. Okay. Oh, and then here's a, like a baby blue. I love it. And then. You guys are amazing. You guys support our shop so much. And we just want to say thank you. We love it. We love putting things in there that really do bring us joy. And we think are totally us. Yeah. And so thank you for loving that and for, you know taking that home with you. Yeah, pom-poms are such a fun thing. And I love that you haven't had to sew this pom-pom on. So if you gift your hat and somebody is, it's either not their favorite pom-pom or they just want to wear it as a beanie sometimes with a pom-pom sometimes, these tie-on ones are to us the ultimate pom-pom. Yeah. Ultimate. Like I just- Because snap-ons for some are great because then you can take it off and wash it. But you've it. always got the snap. Yes. And, and that's this, okay if you know you're going to always have it. It's it's just a different yeah. style. And we, over the years, this is our, our ultimate style. Yeah. And it stays on. It never, ever unties. So They're good. made so well. Janet, you're the best. Yeah. Um, but I do have a hat, some hat knitting. Jordy, okay, your good. patterns are amazing. I would love to make that color work hat. So I'm also one of those people saying... Okay. Let's do good. it. Okay. I sort of said two weeks ago, I need to go order the Crafty Jackalope's smush hat. What is a smush hat? I'd seen it on Instagram. She does the cutest videos. She was using this amazing fluffy yarn, which I've never seen before. It's by Rico. It's called Fashion Light Luxury and it's alpaca. And wool with a little bit of nylon, but it's look at that. Oh, it's Tony. so fuzzy. It's the softest. It feels like Surrey alpaca. There's no silk, but it is a really like it's a heavy gauge. It's like bulky or something. But then she was pairing it with the super mega bling, my favorite sequins. This color is incredible. It's so good. So I bought a couple of hat kits. I'll show you the ones I've got. And this was like a Saturday afternoon. Oh, wow. It's so cute. This is, I knit the size large. Um, just for something that didn't squish down your hair. I can also, I think, get away with a medium. Yeah. I was kind of knitting for gifts. I don't think this is going to be for me. But it's gorgeous. Okay. Do you know what the, when it's that fluffy of a yarn... The sequins just get nestled in there. Especially when it's tone on tone. This is a very subtle sparkle. I think I'm going to give this to my girlfriend that does not knit. And she's very stylish. And she's got kind of golden brown hair. And I feel like this is going to be gorgeous on her. I feel like I and need I this think she will love it. Totally. I looked at this and thought to myself. So when I looked in Amanda's shop, this color is actually sold out. Because I want a sweater in this exact combination. Wow. I actually already have sparkles. I just probably need to buy yarn. So I'll, I'll talk this to her about that. This is spectacular. But she had huge sale in her shop. Like, huge sale. Um, so here's another one of her kits. This is the gray. This is a very medium kind of gray. And this is the rainbow on black. So you're going to get a bit more of a marl, but you're going to see that popping through. It's going to be so beautiful. And I also got the black. And uh, these kits all include the pattern. So you get this cute little bag. You get both yarn and the pattern. And this hat was a Saturday. Like, it's it whips up like crazy. Oh. If you want one of those, I want to knit hats and pump them out fast, Pat. This is so good. This one here is a different gray. It's not quite black. But this is navy thread with a silver sparkle. That's going to be so pretty. It's amazing. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's amazing. And so I showed Georgia, um, because she said she loves the sparkles. I knit her yeah. a sparkle hat last year, and she wants another one. She asked for sparkle socks, too. 
Really? Um, so I had, now, of course, she's like, no, she's not into neutral. She doesn't like the beautiful cream or the grays. Um, she says that's depressing. So whatever. So I'm looking in my stash and I'm wondering, I have to do a little bit of a gauge swatch, but I think I can make this work. This is yarn you bought last year and gave me. Yeah. You bought it just to see what it was like. It's Barocco Mochi. So you cannot get this in Amanda's shop. My personal choice is this. It is so yeah, I luxuriously, love it. luxuriously soft. But Georgia likes this idea. And it's kind of like, it's giving me like drops air kind of vibes. But it's got some um, little, little tweedy bit. bits. It actually is beautiful. I think it's going to work. And so she picked the the rainbow sparkle. You guys, I think this is going to be really nice. Is it blue? The hat? This. The, no. This it's is black, beautiful. but it's got yeah, a no. lot of blue, and it's, you're those not even going to know Those speckles just seat into the fuzz. They do. And this is actually one of those patterns that, I don't know, I love knitting stockinette. I love just, you know, the yarn is speaking to you. You can make a million combinations. Yeah. So if you get yourself a kit, you've got the pattern. I There's beautiful colors in Amanda's shop. There's peachy orange. Yeah. There's blue. People sometimes wonder, do the sparkles seem scratchy? I don't think so. But if you ever did before, yeah. this is something that you're going to like. I would say especially with this yarn, I would say no. These sequins are the small ones. Yeah. And this yarn is very soft and fluffy. Like there's so much alpaca in this yarn. It's 74% alpaca. And it's... It does not feel like this. this not could, that this, this isn't soft, but this to me is like luxurious, beautiful. This could be your gateway to sparkles. I feel like this is a great way to get into it. And look at that, you guys. Is there sparkle or isn't there? I, yeah, this to me looks like, you know, like snow in the sunshine when it looks like diamonds kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but I have to say this. I think would make a fantastic sweater. I do believe this color, unless Amanda has restocked since the weekend, is probably just temporarily out of stock. But if you have any questions, Love it. that Crafty Jackalope is always around. She will help you out. Um, and I'll be, I'll show you. Like, don't you think this is gonna be amazing, this gray and rainbow? The pattern is, oh, Amanda said it's out of stock. Yeah, because oh, it's amazing. Oh. So, you know, one day maybe I'll be able to get enough because I, I this as a sweater would be it's phenomenal. Gorgeous. But also this as a sweater would be phenomenal. No, I want the other one. Because yeah, you have a sweater that looks like this already mm -hmm. and I don't. But this is really stunning. Love it. Or okay. stripes. Hello. If I could get half oh, the sweaters. Oh, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have more knitting, but I do have another pattern to share. The Petite Knitter. Yes. Who is amazing. Has come out with a brand new sweater. Worsted. It's called Apothecary. And I her it, sweater and is knit using those beautiful plates of unplied yarn. Is that what it is? Yep. It is so beautiful. The color work is stunning. Listen. They say that is like weighs nothing. Yeah. Her, I, I would love to knit that sweater. Her her motifs that she... Her, listen, her color palette is so beautiful and it's so cohesive across everything that she does. Yeah. But this just spoke to me. Totally, Jody. I would love to knit that. 18 stitches. Worsted it would be weight. fun to try that yarn. I think that yarn is at the fiber neck. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. I love her color palette. And for a long time, I used to think, well, I can't knit everything in the same color palette. Yeah, you can. And I've come to that conclusion. You can knit whatever you love. If you want to knit everything in hot pink, great. If you want to knit everything in yeah. caramel and cream, great. She's cast on and cast off that little bit, you guys, to add a little bit more detail. It's just stunning. It's just stunning. This made me want to. She's one of my favorite. Drop designers. everything. She's one of my favorite designers. She's amazing. Yeah, I do love a good color work sweater, you guys. Yeah. Um, okay, I can't even believe 
I can't even believe I almost forgot this. This is how like unprepared a little bit. I Want your sweater, your other knitting? Yes. Mm. It's kind of a big deal. I saw it sitting there. I didn't acknowledge him, but he's ridiculous. Jody. This project is one of the How are you going to part with it? Most fun things I have knit in a long time. The pattern is Christopher Bunny by Susan B. Anderson. So the, the pattern for Christopher Bunny is his pants, his sweat, color work sweater, and the bunny. Love it. It's phenomenal. I, it's going to go in a little folder because I will totally make it. You can, this is what he looks like, kind of with naked, I guess. Au naturel bunny. Um, but you can make your bunny whatever color you want. He is so cute. And then there's a companion pattern where you knit him a hoodie and a best friend bunny, his little tiny mini bunny. So last time, all I had time to, to knit was his hoodie. Yes. But I was like, what? It's ridiculous. So you hadn't done the bunny yet. I hadn't done any of the bunny yet. Um, so I'll start like this and then <laughs> I cannot even. How are you going to part with it? I am thrilled to part with it. But are I you? Yeah, I am. Because I think she's going to love it, and I think it will just be treasured. I imagine, oh. I imagine, you know, her chubby little arms with him in her arms at bed, you know, squished under the pillows. I think he's going to be played with a lot. Or he or she or whatever she decides this bunny is. Um, so the hoodie was knit using yarn I showed last time. It was by, like, um, Shopol, a color-changing sport weight yarn plus a sock yarn held together sort of for worsted weight yeah um so that was his hoodie and it's got of course holes for his ears to pop out of um but i hadn't done his little mini bunny <laughs> there's the mini bunny are you serious i know little garter stitch ears he i mean it took no time and not really fussy I have to say, if you would ask me, do you like DPNs? I would say, no. Ew. Been there, done that. Don't like it. Well, for some of these things, it made sense. And that was the best choice to use DPNs. Right. I loved knitting Listen, with DPNs for this. Susan is die. No wonder. She's a die harder. This was DPNs, these little bunnies. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one of our mini yarn bowler pom-poms is what I chose to use for the hood. You can do whatever you want or nothing. Um, so that was phenomenal. And the yarn I used was Estelle Worsted, which I think I showed the yarn last time. So the, the entire bunny, I've got this quite a bit left. I would say maybe 20 grams or more. Um, and then the green, the sea green, I've got so much yarn left. So you, only, you don't even need half a skein for that. Um, but he's got a little tail and the pants. Do they, they come off? Yes, they come off. You knit them all separate. And the tail comes through. The tail comes through. <gasps> so I just, like, I cannot even. So the little pants, the legs come out the front. And then you, it's just gathered like the top like of a, a hat. hat. Totally. So it's not complicated. The pattern is great. If you don't want to stripe it, don't stripe it. I was so. Is the pattern striped? Yeah. This is exactly the pattern. I was tempted to just keep knitting outfits in different color, like solid pants and a striped sweater or whatever, because you can, it just takes no time to make these. Um, and then of course there was a little sweater, which is a round yoke color work sweater. So you can just knit it as it is in the pattern. But for some reason, I didn't want to do the color work. And then I just thought to myself, I'm going to duplicate stitch something on the front, just the front of the sweater. I can't even tell you how many things I duplicate stitched. And took out. I did an outline of a bunny that was a, it was a stitch pattern in one of the stitch dictionaries. And ultimately, I ended up doing my favorite, which is a heart. And I went to the fiber nook to look for a super wash worsted weight yarn that was in fun colors. So I sort of thought this, you know, it kind of is the it's same so vibe good. as the bunny, right? I ended up getting um, Anthem by Cascade, which is 100% acrylic. Yeah. 
not my favorite. No, but the price point's amazing, and it, I think it's great. It's it's a nice choice for the heart. It's a great choice. The colors were phenomenal. There was pros and cons to everything. Yeah. The color palette was huge. The price point super low, which was great. But even just pulling this through to do the duplicate stitching, I felt that the yarn started getting pilly. Do you know what I mean? Like it started not to be as smooth anymore. The acrylic. Yeah. Really. Yeah. But listen, if you're looking for fun acrylic yarn, if that's what you're looking for, this Cascade Anthem is a great choice. Oh. Our, our Fiber Nook had lots of colors, 40 colors or something crazy like that, a whole cubby full of them. Um, but this is going to be a great choice for a toy because they can throw this all in the washing machine and not have to worry about it. So I just did a heart. This is actually the heart on my boom box socks that are, have a duplicate stitch heart. It's the exact same chart. And then I used another color and just outlined it. So you, you that, that chart's in the pattern, in the sock pattern. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. <gasps> so it was tons of fun to knit. Is she done? Yeah, totally done. Little bit of polyester stuffing is what I used. Safety eyes. And a, this is just black sock yarn. A little bit for his face. Um, and that's it. You must send a picture to Susan. Oh, yeah. I'll make a Ravelry page too because yeah. Um, ah, I love it. But what's a duplicate stitch? Duplicate stitch is also known as Swiss embroidery. And it's literally where you take um, a yarn on a fat, like it's usually stockinette fabric, and you're tracing over an existing stitch on the pattern in a different color and it's a way to embroider a picture or something like that but it's it's like the most simple form of embroidery i think so it's over top an already knit you're fabric. following the stitch that's already there there's great videos on youtube if you just type in duplicate stitch knitting um, it's very simple. You'll and go down a rabbit hole. It's very addictive. Yeah. It's very addictive. It's very simple. Um, it's a very easy way to make, to embellish something oh. that's that's plain. Pardon me. The sweater was also really cute. Not anything. Sure. I just wanted him to look, I just wanted him to be something unique. And so I wanted a sweater to be a little bit different than the pattern. That's all. It was so great. So oh. super fun project. I would highly recommend all of the things that I used. And uh, it was maybe a week, week's worth of evenings of knitting. So two or three hours an evening for about a week. Okay. And also, I did not put it down until it was finished because I was loving seeing him come to life. All so the much. elements. Yeah. I mean, the pants with the little tiny bunny hole, like at the, for the pom-pom, like it's just so charming. I feel like that is the word I use to, when I do stuff that Susan's patterns, I just think charming and cute and perfect. I know, it's so cute. So you guys, ah! this was not hard at Adorable. all. It is, everything was pick up and knit on. You don't knit a leg and then sew it on. Everything was knit as a piece and then pick up a few stitches and continue on. Yes. It's not a toy where you sew things together. Yeah. Which to me makes a world of difference. I've made ones like that and I don't enjoy it. It's more work. It's just like a piece sweater. The it's only more thing work. that you have to sew on is the tail. And because it's so tiny, it's very simple. Yeah. But the rest, ah. rest of it is all just pick up and build on. So... so Cute. One of the cutest things I've ever made, and I can't wait. I, I excuse I me. I think I'm going to go get some kind of a book with a bunny, and that will be, I think, a really fun little um, Christmas gift for a one-and-a-half-year-old. Right? Yes. Yeah. And then he can go this, He can go live his life in his new, <sighs> new house. Oh, jealous. I would love to make something like this every year. Jealous. Every year. I am so tired, I can hardly fucking focus. Just a minute. You should make yourself one, even just for fun. It was so fun. Yeah, I, I, it, I'm inspired. Yeah. This next sweater. This is going to be my next sweater, I believe. Ooh, I love that. Um, 
Anaras, Anara, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. That's lovely. This is a brand new, it's a work, it's an Aran weight, but I will be knitting worsted. Mm -hmm. It's 18 stitches and I'm going to use my hinterland. Ooh, that's such a good idea. And the color work. But wait. Will be. There's more. My ghost ranch. Jody. What do we think? Listen. Thoughts. We're done. Go home. Cast on. Yeah. And I cast off a sweater, you guys. I don't have a garment on my needles. Not one. I don't have any. I do. I home. have a half knit sweater, and that's what I'm going to be working that's on. That's not now. true. I have my easy V that I finish, want to finish the body, but I'm so bored. Yeah. I just want the sweater. You're just. Okay. I but... knew you were lying. What? That you didn't have a sweater. Yeah, that's it. It didn't seem right. Right. Can you can you see this? Um, I want to bring up the picture too because I I, I want to show like a face on. Um, it is stunning. I did see this on on Ravelry. You guys, hang on. And I love that the color work goes past when you split for your sleeves. It's a little bit also on the sleeve. It's also a little bit on the body. I think this would be gorgeous in a really low contrast. Um, it's beautiful. Like a medium gray and a blush or cream or something oh. like that. This reminds me of the colors of my Sonder sweater. The mm -hmm. caramel and purple like that. I love it. Maybe that's also why I love it. The, the color work pattern is beautiful. Again, do you guys notice that there's those little stripes of black every no, I few didn't inches? Even that. And then she's cast on and cast off in the black. Oh, see, that's a nice detail. Right? Yeah, beautiful. I'm going to do that. I think you should. Mine might get a little lost because I what don't. Well, you've got gray hinterland, but pick a different color. No, I have cream. Oh, oh yeah, I do have gray no. hinterland. Oh, no, it won't show up. It won't show up. Unless it's like neon, totally opposite of your ghost ranch. But it's not, but I'm still going to do. How about mint? That mint green like that Gilead right there. I don't think I'm going to worry necessarily about it in there, but I think I still am going to cast on and cast off in black. Because I wear so much black. But isn't your yarn dark gray? Yeah. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. Medium gray. We'll see. I'll do a swatch. What about pale gray? Yeah. Cat, like the, you'll find something. And maybe the black will look great. But if it's too close to the dark gray, then a light gray would be beautiful, Jody. Yeah. But I love this so much. Me too. It's gorgeous. It's a brand new sweater. Size inclusive. Great. Yeah. Love it. Her aesthetic, you guys, just wait. I want to show you one more thing. Um, this is Susanna. Let's see what her last name is. I'm the worst. Are you? Susanna Cartinen. Susanna Cartinen. This one is a fisherman's rib. But look. At the two contrasting colors. Ooh, that's Fisherman's Rib. Well, not I, brioche. It looked like brioche to me, but it's beautiful. Whatever it is, I think it's beautiful. She doesn't have a lot of patterns. It's she's a new to me designer. Oh, okay. oh no, that's not true. She's got several. Um, she was this designer. <gasps> oh, she's the cover. She was the darn cover. You might have heard of her on Pom Pom Magazine. Wow. Oh, yes. You guys. Okay, that's amazing. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay, anyway, that might be my new cast on. Might. That's exciting. It's exciting to be inspired by something. Well, I didn't put that yarn away because, you guys, that uh, hinterland yarn is so amazing. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I really phenomenal. want a sweater in it. Okay, this is a combination um, pattern I was inspired by and something I bought. Yeah. So... Gudrun Johnston is the ambassador for Simply Shetland, mm -hmm. and she put out a winter 2023 hat. Does it look amazing? And it's all done in the Jameson's Shetland Spindrift yarns. Oh, isn't that cute? That doesn't that look so much fun to knit. Yes. So this is the holiday hat 2023. It comes in. This Buy it as a cute kit. little bag. Ah. 
project bag and it comes with all the yarn to knit this exact sample yeah it's it's the yarn in the picture and then you get the pattern oh i actually love this color palette i would happily knit with these colors this is amazing this dark green isn't it gorgeous <gasps> so you can decide so of these which one you want to be the brim because it's only one ball of everything fingering Oh, like, yes. It's beautiful. Wool and spun, light as heck, really beautiful Shetland yarn. And I got this from Your Next Knit, who is Smitha. And she's got an online yarn shop in British Columbia, Your Next Knit. She has beautiful yarn. And I want to give her a shout out because it really helps, you know, yarn shops. Yeah. So I shout love out. that. Shout out to Your Next Knit. How cute is her logo? Um, and she said, I want to send you a little something to try, pick something out of the shop. And I said, okay, thank you. And I picked this amazing colored mohair, like variegated mohair, which is kid seda, kid silk. And it came in about, I don't know, four or five colors. Um, I just think it's so looks pretty. Like yeah, it's amazing. It totally looks like. I love this. Isn't that great? Oh, so coral so and pink and yeah. gold. Um, you can hold it with, it will change the yarn you're, you've got like a rainbow kind of. So if you hold it with a creamy color, you'll get all of this. Beautiful. Or if you hold it with like a pink, you'll see them all. So anyway, she is lovely. We met at Knit City. Um, and when I saw that she had these kits I was like oh my gosh this is so great what an amazing kit yeah just it to is. cast on you might not get it done real quick and she sent these super cute little stitch marker like oh, just awesome such a great little shop so uh, online only you can check that out I've already <sighs> is it nap time yeah okay. I'm already betting I will not be making dinner why Oh, I'm just so tired. I made a nice dinner last night. Did you? So I don't, yeah. What did you make? I made like stuffed chicken breast with a panko crunchy breading and like a mushroom gravy and egg noodles and a beautiful salad and brownies for dessert. Um, kids came for dinner. So we had a nice dinner. It was. Well, now nice. you know what I think I'm going to make. And asparagus. I haven't made asparagus. I'm going to do that. Mushroom soup really gravy good. with panko really chicken. Good. I'm doing that. It was great. And I put prosciutto and mozzarella for and fresh basil well, no wonder in you the went chicken breast. Well, yeah. It's just nice to have, like, when you've got a couple extra people at the table, you can kind of make more stuff, right? Yeah, you can't just dial it in. Well, I can. Dial like, they in. come over for just burgers or pizza, too. But last night I decided. Like, you always make everything from scratch and make all of us look bad. Can you stop? Please it's nothing. Stop. It was nothing. Slice open a chicken breast, shove whatever you like in the middle, and put it in the oven. Do you, do you toothpick it together? I did toothpick. Yeah. Oh, that brings back so many memories of yeah. mom making that and choking oh, on a toothpick. It was pick. so. <laughs> okay, I also removed the toothpicks no, before she, it got to the she table. Used to too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's really yummy. It was a great dinner. Oh my gosh. Jordan said she that you guys had the worst dinner last night. <laughs> okay. So, Jordan, have, thank you for that have information. Have you ever bought probably the piece of like um, I don't I forget the brand, but the chunk of corned beef from Costco? No. Now I buy very very little groceries, obviously. You're right from Costco, but there are sometimes the item that you pick I up. I love corned beef. I do too, and it's like it's not Schwartz's, but maybe it's Schwartz's corned beef. I can't quite remember. And we had that on Rubens. What? Okay. Why did you, so you, what did you, did you boil this corned beef? No, it comes fully cooked. It's like a little, small piece of like deli meat, like chunk. I know. But the one we used to carry at work, you used to have to like. Well, that wasn't cooked. You had to fully. This... No, they're all smoked, which is cooking it. Anyway, I don't know. Did you read the, read the instructions on the bag? Yeah. This is just like deli meat. You can slice oh, it. Oh, I didn't so know it that. it's going to be made into okay. Rubens. Okay. But for some reason, like the skin seemed tough. So it felt like I was eating plastic and we didn't, Jordan and I, we didn't say anything to each other. We kind of just ate it. But then after she's like, I didn't really love it. Neither did I. I think you should read the package. No, you don't have to cook it. It's like ready to go. The other one was cooked too. 
No, the other one was squishy. You had to boil that other one for three hours. I know, but it still smoked corned beef. Yeah, but the other one was squishy. Like, it hadn't been... This one was full, solid, hard. Oh, okay. Fully cooked. It's lunch meat. So it's meant... Why didn't it come sliced if you're... you're... Because you're supposed to... I don't... Tracy, I could be wrong, but I don't know. Anyway, that's a bummer when you make a dinner that you're looking forward to, Mm -hmm. and then it's a disappointment. Yeah. It's a giant bummer. So we'll do and it. I love Rubens. Love. That's a great dinner for me. So I'm going to IGA on the way home. Yummy to get kosher corn pickle beef. on the side. Yeah. We had a full sour when kosher. When we pickle. went to New York for the only time I've ever been there, we made a point of going to like an amazing Jewish deli, and that's exactly what we had. Listen, it was I so love good. It. So we're, we'll do a re over, do over. A do over? A redo. And so do you put sauerkraut on it? Uh huh. Good. But, and I use Havarti cheese. I don't use any. I only use yellow mustard. I don't use any weird sauce. I'm happy with kind of um, Swiss or Havarti. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I'm quick. Yeah. People like, I think, I don't know if it's tradition, but like like a Thousand Island type dressing. Oh, I love that. Don't love it. Love it. Leave it. I don't <gasps> want it. I won't love eat it. Love it. You know, it's got the pickles chopped up in it. Like, I love that. Yeah. So today we're going to do a real do-over I sauerkraut. Corn beef. I could totally go for it. Now I'm going to want, now I'm going to crave And this. I do thin sliced rye bread because I don't want to waste stomach space on any unwanted bread. Mm-hmm. A kettle, plain kettle chip and a kosher dill. Okay. So what time is dinner? Because that's, no, I'm, that's going to be lunch. Me up. <gasps> lunch. Yeah. Oh my God. That's amazing. It's going to be lunch. Oh, you know what I got? No. This came last time, and I didn't. Um, what do you mean? Did, you ordered didn't bring it? it? Yes, I did. Good. I thought it was supposed to be. Jody, on. I'm still so psyched. I want to learn. I want to learn how to Tunisian crochet. So, if you don't know, Tunisian crochet is the most amazing mashup of knitting and crochet. Listen, some of those. Are you stitch- sure it's a mashup of knitting? A crochet and knitting. It is. Yeah. I thought it was its own. Thing. It's its own thing, but if you think about it, it's using a lot. It's like a real. If you think of how do I mash up crochet and knitting, it certainly makes its own fabric. And instead of crochet, where you just have the one stitch that you're building, just yeah. one stitch at a time, this is multiple stitches on a like a crochet. Tunisian crochet hook has a big long like a cord. Like you've yeah. got many stitches. So, but I think truly it's its own own art form. But the pat, look at see? the fabric it makes. I. I've seen some things done in Tunisian crochet, and I would swear they were knitted. So this is Tony Lipsy, who is TL Yarn Crafts, and she's got an amazing YouTube channel and everything else. But if you want to learn all about that stuff, I feel like she would be the wonderful to learn from. It was the most fun when I took a class at a um, local yarn store on Tunisian crochet. Vincent says... Uh, he refers to it as the love child between knit- knitting and Thank crochet. You. I love that. <gasps> Look at these. Yeah, the stitch, the stitch patterns, the fabric, all of it is so gorgeous and so different. Look at you guys. Yeah, Jody, it's beautiful. I'm dying to learn this to is do this. Such a beautiful book. It's packed with tutorials and stitch guides and patterns and. Um, garments, listen, Vincent, it's so nice to see you. If you're at all interested, um, in Tunisian crochet, uh, Tony's got your back. This is a beautiful book. She does all the crochet and has the most beautiful energy. I have a giant, I'm a giant fan girl, huge fan girl. There's 20 brand new patterns in this Tunisian crochet book. 20. Yeah. It's a beautiful book. It is. Yeah. And it's such a great, I know we're always saying at this time of year, get a, if you choose to give gifts for friends and stuff, that would be such a cool thing to give someone you know that crochets or knits. I agree. Yeah. Because I feel like it's right in their wheelhouse. I agree. Um, okay. That's so exciting. Okay, do you want to share this really quickly too? Yeah. Okay. Two years ago, 
it's funny because we get all these emails, um, people wanting to, you know, promote, would you like one of yeah. these so you can promote it for us? And it's always, no, 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 no. no. Thank you anyway. Yeah. Right. And Jody said yes to this company, Nakano Knives, because we do love to cook. So Jody's like, I'd love to see what these knives are like. You guys, they're amazing. Yeah. And so for two years, we've shared how much we love these knives, and we got to give away a big set last year. And they, we do have a discount code for you if you're interested. And also, still, 10 out of 10 amazing. I use them on the daily. I'm not kidding Every you. day. I, I have a few knives in my drawer. These are the two that I'm always using. And I would happily add more to my drawer. And... Who knows? You know, there might be someone on your list that's not a maker, a knitter, who, like, yarn is not appropriate. Um, so they have, this is this is the brand, and you can go to their website. I'll add a, a link to our show notes. Um, but if you put in the code Grocery Girls when you add things to your cart, you'll save 30% off of whatever that is. So I actually bought a knife set last night for someone for Christmas. And it was, like, I saved... $70 and yeah. the whole thing was like $160 for three beautiful knives and a knife sharpener. Like it's, which is a lot, but I've saved a lot and the quality is phenomenal. I don't slice your hand. I know you guys, these are <gasps> these no are so joke. Beautiful. These are no joke. I think this is the chef series that they sent us. Um, they're phenomenally sharp Look and so handle. beautifully made. <gasps> They this feel... this set includes everything oh. from like cleavers to carving. carving. Um, they come. You can get nice little small everyday ones for vegetables or pairing. Anyway, I just wanted to share the discount cone again because we truly use and love this on the daily. <gasps> These Lots. are so amazing. Yeah. So, oh, Frank, oh, did I'm you not poke yourself. Yeah, a little a bit. Bread knife. Um, a beautiful serrated. What's for, this gonna do? Um, save nothing my, when me. you put your hand. I know, down the... right? Like, don't want you to poke the end, but God forbid. Anyway. Oh, that's beautiful. They're stunning. They're so beautiful. So. <gasps> Boy, they feel good in your hands. And last year, especially, we had a bunch of people say like feedback where they came back to us and said, "I ordered a knife, like a knife for my brother-in-law or whatever," and they were like. I have to thank you because she said I never would have found them. And here's the other thing we find with things like this is these things we don't think about in our everyday. When you grab a knife, you think, oh, I love this so much. I'm going to gift it. Or I don't anyway. Yeah. But when it's something you use every day and you love it, why not? Yeah. And they, they hold, like, they are heavy duty. I There's not a day that yeah. goes by that I don't use like one of their a products. knife and what about a cookbook or a knife they have those sharpeners you just run up and down it's... i should buy some of these for our brother like but we don't buy gifts anymore for all of us but yeah if i were this would he would love something like yeah. this so anyway anyway you guys if you're looking this is a great idea yeah something that we love every day um but it, also they've got this sale on right now you can save a bundle by using that discount code so these are made it's always fun to save so beautifully this is a one piece solid steel they're handmade sandwiched by hand carved uh wood um handle it's so beautiful you guys yeah. it feels weighty but not heavy like it feels it feels like significant like yeah and they're they're used by chefs worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's not a brand that I was aware of at the time. But let me tell you, I get it. I get why people... We're happy to partner um, with them. Sure. Because we love their product. And they seem lovely. And truly passionate. Like, truly, truly, you guys. There's not a day that goes by... They send Tracy flowers. Well, they were for both of us. But oh, it was no, to my Oh, no. Do you know house. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I know. I know. Honestly, too, the, um, good knives are expensive, and it's an investment. Yeah. So a 30% saving, and they're already having a sale. Like, I'm not kidding you what you guys can save for this, if yeah. you're interested. No pressure. Pressure. But we love them. Yeah. And uh, thank you to Nakano for... 
spoiling us and sending this box oh. as well as the knife sharpener. You guys, it's not one of those steel. I mean, with three different grades yes. of the sharpening. Do you want one? How do you know? Yes. Okay. Um, so do you have one? No. Well, how do you know when you're going to use fine we'll coarse or ceramic? I don't. I don't like really when know. would I? But use maybe we those. have to look it up. Okay. Oh, Tony said she won those. Okay, what's that? Because we gave away a set last year. She said they are beyond amazing. Thank you so much for the coupon. I will be getting a set for my daughter. See, so we just want to pass that on to you yeah. guys. I love that you love them as much as I just. This is cool. I feel like this is universal. If you get one of these, you'll be thrilled with it. I'm gonna have to read up on when I would use this. But go. Um, if you want more, go to the website now while the sale is on. Yeah. Georgia. Georgia. Hi. Hi. Nice haircut. Let's see. Spin around. Nice. You got tons cut. It looks I so did. good, honey. What was in your bowl? Yep. Oh, nice. What kind? <laughs> You're so nosy. Oh, I love it. Um, Do you remember when they used to make double salt and vinegar? No. Like, you would rip... s and your... was never my favorite, but... Yours always, right? I really enjoy salt and vinegar. Not malt vinegar. Right. For some reason. I do like malt vinegar, not Je on my chips. Jeff said he and his friends used to pour vinegar on salt and yeah. vinegar chips. They used to make a double salt and vinegar, and then you couldn't taste for a week after you ate them. Right. You're but burning off your so taste buds. I, um, I do love potato chips, I have to say. But like a just salted. Ripple's my favorite. I love a good ripple chip. Hello, Virginia from I, Australia. I love a hoop, a corn okay. chip hoop. Me too, but they give you the worst aftertaste. Like there's something gross about them, but I can't, I love them. I love a hickory stick. I only like them. I love a poppable. It's no, like a, I don't. Oh, love. That is potato puree that they pour into love a mold. It. Those to me also very uh, after tasty. Tracy, you're so But I do judgy. love a popcorn twist. Oh. And those how, aren't real food either, but I love them. How about the snacks with the caramel that you make with popcorn twists? Oh my God, yes. We gotta start Christmas baking. I know. I'm Look excited. At this. Jody. Brand new I'm pattern. I'm so tempted to make this. Do you guys ever knit for house? Houseware things? House, houseware I... things? This is so beautiful. This is a I don't do it very much. DK weight. Um, pillow form pattern. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was so pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's by Laura Penrose, who you can is see. a beautiful designer. Yeah, you can look see at the here, black and white one. There's so, there's single colors. This is um mint advent minis. So it's also see? a fun, fun idea for. Maybe you don't want to make a shawl or a blanket or a cowl or whatever for your right. Advent minis. You can do totally scrappy version. Look, I love it. Look at the Christmas one down below in the little small picture. Oh, yeah, picture. that's pretty. I just thought that was so pretty. It is pretty, and I honestly was very tempted by that pattern. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, yeah, Bridget said it looks like quilting. It totally looks like a star yeah, quilted pattern. Yeah, so cute. Um, do you have anything else that you yeah. came in the mail? Okay, good. No. More patterns? Yeah. I, when I was at um, St Statement Junkie, Statement Junkie, I bought some holiday sock yarn. And I know people, their local yarn shops have this too, but I just wanted to share, like, look how cute those socks are going to be. This is ah. the sparkle version and this is the regular version. So these are going to go in our giveaways because I just think the regular version should be garbage. Self patterning sock yarn where it just you know it's magical that whole arna and carlos thing and opal so oh opal sock yarn all that stuff and also um earth yarns these unique sock kits are amazing and your your local yarn shop probably has them and if not go online to somebody else's this one i think i'm keeping for myself because rude well, I actually bought this for myself. Look at the three colors in there, you guys. Also, um, it comes wound into 50 gram cakes and it makes I these buy it just for that. socks. And this is the color called Christmas and it's a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. I've seen these unique sock kits. I've never actually knit one. 
There's so many cute gradients and things that they have. Um, but this one to me was like the most perfect Christmas red and green. I also think it's super fun. I don't know. I think that little bit of if the red and green is classic yeah. for the holidays. Yeah. And I think it's really cute. It is cute. cute as a sock. Like that's the red and green with some white. Uh, you could also knit a hat. You could knit mittens. You yeah. don't have to make socks. But something I do love about Earth Yarns is that it's a knit one, plant one. Each skein of yarn that they sell, they plant a tree in Africa in partnership with TFF, Trees for the Future. Oh, I love that. So if you didn't know that about this brand, that is part of, of their thing. Um, but the whole pre-wound cakes, and they got so many colors. But I love it all. I love I love it. I love the classic colors combination. If you're into sock knitting, I mean, these Christmas colors are kind of fun. You guys, I just found a pattern when I went on Ravelry that West I have Yorker to share. West Spinners has it. All kinds of cool colors. It's called the Timber Ridge Hat. And it's brand new. It's Are you sure? DK. Yeah. Okay, that's really cute. Brand new. And Star, you're right. There's a Hanukkah color. I was going to say there's more than just Christmas colors. Yeah. Um, which I love. Holiday celebration. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, look at that. That's really pretty. But I love the color not combo. Not only that, you guys, this is the Timber Ridge hat. Look, newborn to adult. Oh, look at the two pom poms the on the baby hat. <gasps> I should make one of those. This is a Canadian maker. Okay, I thought that pattern was not new. What do I this know? This one is brand new. Okay. It's beautiful. M Michelle Meadows is Very the designer. Cute. Very I was cute. looking because I believe Arna and Carlos had some sort of advent thing starting tomorrow. Probably. But they did, they do have their um, holiday Christmas knitting balls. Right. Oh my God, the balls. Every year. Okay, you guys. Speaking of Christmas advent, our friend... And Dyer at Christy. Oh, yes. Who is Yarn Cafe Creations. Yes. Oh, if you on. love knitting miniature ornaments for hanging on trees or just tying on presents and stuff. Yeah. Um, it is. She has a phenomenal number of these mini patterns. All kinds of clothing that you can imagine. Also. Like many, many, many that are socks alone, but the like, look at the little dress and the bodysuit and the overalls and Santa's jacket. What's somebody, that somebody said, "What are Hanukkah colors?" I've always blue, blue and white, white, silver, yeah. right? Yeah, more just blue and white, I think, but silver too. What's the name of that pattern? Twenty four days MCal two. So is this one from last year or something? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah, she's got a million little mini patterns. Okay, that but are so what cute. I wanted to say was, um, it's starting again. Oh, I thought I favorited it. Um, Christy, okay, I'll find it. I'm gonna find it. Her, her. This was an M. This was an M. Cal, and she's starting a new one tomorrow. So you got one in, one a day. One yes. of those little patterns a day. So look for Christy on Ravelry. There's an MCAL pattern to purchase, and then you'll get your daily uh, patterns. She has the cutest design. Yeah, she really does. I mean, really? the creativity yeah. is off the charts super, for Super, super cute. And, you know, those really don't take more than a little evening to do. So you could get one a day, knit one a day in the evenings or Wait whatever. Wait you see this. Or catch up on weekends. She's really an incredible I designer. Know. I know. She is designed. These are mini hat patterns or mini sweater patterns it's called villainous mini sweater ornaments holy moly that's incredible these are star wars villainous it's called villainous mini villains no villainous oh okay how cute is this gorgeous so See, that's her so creative yeah and special like what a cool little Thing to tie on someone's if it's a gift or just that is the gift you've knit yeah. them this cool little thing i okay. love that uh jun jiang yin yun jiang i think um is her name so cute follow her on ravelry you guys she has the most fun patterns um this is her brand new set for 2023 of her 
winter. Those are gorgeous. Ball ornaments. These are stunning. She also has. Ooh, I love this. These are color work. They're not duplicate stitch. There's actual color work charts for I, these. Oh, that's really pretty. I the, love that. Yeah. yeah. So that's her Super as well. And then she also has this pattern, which is a mini sock ornament. And it comes with, um, if you can see barely, you can't even barely. It comes with more than one chart. Cute. So you can decide what. So these little things are fun. Honestly, I feel like once you start knitting those little things, you it's very fun. You They're go, very yes. enjoyable to knit cute little things and finish them quickly. I can do it in an evening. If yeah. you have a few hours in an evening, yeah. teeny bits of yarn, gauge, doesn't necessarily matter no, so much. No, not at all. Yeah. So, I mean, even though that pattern might be fingering weight yarn, do it in DK weight yarn with the needle that you would normally use for DK weight yarn or worsted or whatever. It's just going to change the size of the item. Yeah. But you can follow the exact same pattern, but just okay. know that the size might change. Something else she had on here for fall. Okay. Oh, it was like acorn and apples and pears and a pumpkin and Isn't gourds. That adorable. Not a pear, gourds. Like a squash. Yeah. Cute. She's got a really cute, cute. feed. Okay. The last pattern I'm going to share are. These are Christmas cookie ornaments, knit, made, oh. made to look like Christmas cookies. That's really cute. And this called Christmas cookies. That's really cute. How cute is that? Adorable. Where you kind of accent it with some white yarn on kind of a cookie color to make it look like they're cut out cookies. I love it. So these are all things you guys can do with your advent sets or your holiday countdown or your mini sets that we've all accumulated. I love it. Um, something else happening today. It is the last day of our Knitted Knockers <clears throat> make along. Okay. So that is the end officially of our breast cancer knit for the girls. Thank you to the people that were knitting knockers or crocheting knockers we're going to close that thread probably tomorrow morning yeah and get some prizes out to people and one of the prizes is amazing well they're all amazing but nicola who is tea cake and make um you can find her on instagram and ravelry mm -hmm. she has donated to three winners they get to choose three of her sock patterns and her aunt is a breast cancer survivor, and that is why she reached out, and we just thought that was Love it. such a great idea. But she has beautiful, you have to go check out her sock patterns. Her newest design that just <gasps> came out oh, is called the beautiful. Woodland Woodland Joy Socks. Those would be fun to knit. Super fun to knit. Minis! But, but she's got a bunch of them. So go check out her Ravelry page. Um, so that was, here's the spring ones. I remember seeing these. They're so cute. These are the spring getaway socks. These are all such amazing ideas for the minis, you guys. Yeah. People are always asking. Yeah. So thank you to Nicola. Thank you to everybody that supported the whole campaign um, of Knit for the Girls. And so we'll get those knitted knockers. You know, that's done done for one more year so i mean you can amazing... always you can knit and donate knitted knockers or crochet yes. them all year long and it's just so important to do so but thank you to everybody for the support and we will draw names and send prizes and um you know a big thank you to everyone too from our friends thread and maple which we're um partnered up with so thank you thank you to everybody i'm waiting and there's a whole day left still Yes, you, you guys can, you can have. I'm just mentioning that it happens to be the last day, but yeah. you can still get in there. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Okay, so I have some Frankie Gray fiber, and I do have Mrs. Brown's bag. Okay, let me share this one last thing, and then I'm no rush. I want to hear all about it. Oh, okay. that's really cute. Sophie, who is Dolphina, she is. Look at the stitching on that. A hoot. I know she is a hoot. She look at this. This is her. She did an apres ski collection. She's an amazing, she's got bags. You can check ah. out her website, Dolphina Collective. She's got merch. Um, she's wonderful. But Who she did her graphic? I don't know. Isn't it so cute, that though? That is so cute. So I ordered some bags from ah, her. We love it. Because I thought they would be so cute. Ooh, I love that skull one. In our 12 Days of Giveaways, this is her 
cozy knitted items, but look at the fabric. Sweaters, scarves, hats, mitts, like you name it. And it's this cute little cube for like a hat or socks. Oh. But look at her embroidery stitch that her machine did across the zipper. Listen. How cute is that? I'm going to her shop because I want to show you. Oh, And I got the blue. She had two different color palettes. I love it. In this bag. Had to. Like I just had to. Honestly, look at this. Little color work sweaters, vests. Um, they're beautiful. I love them. She is a phenomenal Canadian maker, and uh, I just could not resist these. So, super cute. And I've had a little cube bag before, and it was smaller than this, and I felt like it was too small. This, to me, is such a great size. Oh, they're sold out. Oh, well, maybe. Too late. Wah, wah. Get on our mailing list. Wah, wah. Totally get on our mailing list. Um, and just sort of sign up her for, yeah, sign up for her emails. She'll make more. And she she's just sold out of this print. She but she's does got lots, lots of shows. Lots of other pattern, uh, um, fabrics. And she does other styles of bags, too. These are just the ones that I thought would be um, super cute and fun for our giveaways. I wanted to show you guys this. Look at the colors. I could totally just keep them. Knit to live, live to knit. This is the bag she I would buy. She also makes bags with the, uh, oh. the F word bags. I love them. She, she, yes. See that she does tattooed fabric bags. Oh, there's so many to choose from. That just gave me an idea for a tattoo. The, the skeins of yarn crossed. <gasps> Delphina. She's wonderful. Her name is Sophie. She is phenomenal. No, her name is Delphina. <laughs> Sorry. I think she'll answer to both, but they're beautifully made. They're lined. They're gorgeous. So, yay. And she donated the most phenomenal tote bag to our breast cancer yes. um, prize. Yes. She makes bags that are so intricate. Look like at her. so much. There she is. Yeah. There she is. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Um, so anyway, you. these were adorable. And they arrived. And I just thought, oh, my God, I can't even. I can't even with how cute they are. I love that. Yeah. Fun with the ski. Like, there's little Uggs. Did you see it online? Or on Instagram, maybe. I did see it on her Instagram. And then I just went to her shop thinking, oh, I've probably missed it. Mm -hmm. And I did not. Oh, good. So that was great. But she's got um, really fun, like, naughty fabrics. Yes. Which I love a lot. And you don't know until you look really close. Carrying Someone just looking at your bag wouldn't no, notice. No, no. That's what makes it so cheap. Yeah, like, they look like flowers and really curly writing. But if you read it, it's like... I love it. I'm knitting. Or like, I'm I'm a fucking ray of sun. No, I'm a, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, they're all great. Yeah, love them. That's fun. Yeah. So okay, that good. arrived and they were just cuter than I could have imagined. So nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jode. Okay, so, up? um, Joe, okay, so Joe has done, um, a fabulous job with sewing for me. So this is the last batch for 2023 and, um, it is the knit night tote. Oh my God. I love it. It is the here. biggest of the totes and it has two exterior pockets all the way down to the bottom. It's got cotton webbing, cotton webbing for the handles. It's giant it's such a great bag like it's, it's a take anywhere bag you feel it's it such a great bag it's not well you can use it for whatever you want but i don't it's not a project bag per se it's what you throw your wallet your keys and your project bags in right right it's so phenomenal when you go to knit night like it's so perfectly named right you yeah can, um, or, but I, I mean, you see people using them as their everyday tote bag, right? It's just a great yeah. size. It's not so big that you can't just carry this all the time. No. But it's perfect for a couple of projects and, you know, a small purse or whatever. These will be mailed on Monday. Um, they're all done. They're all done and ready to go. There is only 30. Okay. Very few of them. Such a good gift, too, Joe. Um, so Mrs. Brown's Bags. Mrs. Brown's Bags .com is where you can find that. Um, and then I have a few things to share 
for Frankie Gray Fibers. Yay! So we talked about the Jordan completed her 10 months, which is 10 albums of yarn inspired by Taylor Swift yarn. The world is crazy. Taylor for Swift Taylor. albums. Yeah. And yarn inspired by the colors of it. So this is finally, you can see it all together, you guys. It is all the albums. I'm going to tell you, starting from this end, we're going to do debut, fearless, speak now is the purpley pink, red, 1989, reputation, lover, folklore, midnights, no, midnights is down here. It Evermore? Got, and this is um, Evermore. This kind of got switched around in the package. Uh, but this is the full set. We have, this is 50 grams. We have it available on 50 grams as a set. It's phenomenal. The really, in really D smashing. DK and fingering. And then you can curate your own set because each individual one is available on our basis as well. I think well. that set is out of this world. Isn't it? Yeah. I really do. I think, I mean, when you do it like this and it comes together, it's so beautiful. Yes. What a gorgeous job. And then that's the yarn band. It was designed to look like a ticket. Well, it's kind of virtual because no one gets actual tickets. Right. See, no one can collect ticket stuff I, anymore. And I totally have a little drawer with stuff like that. I have my Oprah one. Me too. Yeah, I kept it. So these are all colors inspired by Taylor Swift album covers. Which was super fun to watch I as love she did that. them. It really okay, is. You guys, we've changed our Surrey base, which I'm super excited Jode. about. So our Surrey base used to be 300 meters, right? So you, we were just talking about this. So you always had to get an extra skein when you were subbing. We've switched now. This Surrey base is 400 meters. So it's going to match our 400 meters wow. of fingering weight. So when you're holding wow, those things Joe. together, it's soft. The halo is very pretty. It's fuzzy. It's, it's soft. Super soft. I was comparing them. I mean, I couldn't tell softness what, wise. Is this slate blue? That's siren. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. That's siren. Wow. But another base I think we're going to carry, depending is called Majestic and it's super baby alpaca. It's 19 micron, super soft baby alpaca, 34 silk, 13 cashmere. Oh my God. And it's 400 meters as well. But look at the halo. It's a wow. really refined halo. Wow. This is spe spectacular, you okay, guys. I love it. So I'm just going to show you this. So this is the new base, and it's very, very similar to the 300 meter where you get a really beautiful halo. Mm -hmm. But this is just a more refined, you can see the comparison. Right. So this is, this is going to be a few more dollars. Well, there's also not as much alpaca in it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Because it's, it's at silk or at cashmere is switched right how interesting and exciting it's so beautiful it's not in the shop right now we're going to add it over the next few days but we're going to offer it on all of the bases it Josh, will be 35 dollars a skein 34 35 somewhere in there and just that little bit of cashmere will make it softer but not like so soft i mean it's not going to be like a pilling thing that's going to be just but the halo luxurious. is refined right it does look a little bit different yeah it's gorgeous they're both gorgeous so i was going to leave you it's... with a sample of both Thanks, i can't leave Jode. you with these because these colors are sold but i'm going to leave you a new sample of the surrey oh i'd love it thank and you and the Mache the this regular surrey and the majestic thank you who doesn't love a sample i love that but i'm going to knit with it this weekend we just dyed it yesterday for the first time. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love it. So I know there was a few people that reached out and wanted to sub it for some sweater kits that we had. Right. And then I went and charged them an extra skein. They'll notice they'll get a refund because we've now switched. Anything um, is now being 
died on the 400 gram scale. Okay. Anyway, but it's beautiful. What a great modification yeah. for the shop. I love that. I think that tweak of the yardage, I can't see the difference. I'm very excited about a different base. Like, I love them both. And I love that you can order a skein of fingering, a skein of surrey, and it's the same. Because I think that is part of the reason people don't. Well, and before you did a kit, like a fingering weight kit, you had to do two surrey and yeah. one fingering. Yeah, because mohair always seemed to be closer to the length of a skein of fingering weight right yeah. so this is going to be phenomenal i, I agree love no that one idea. if they want to sub surrey or they want to get the, yeah the equal thing you don't have to spend more money because it's the same length i'm gonna knit something with this uh new new try something this weekend i'm totally going to try it yeah <gasps> thanks for the treat You're i so love welcome. it oh just a minute tracy you get to pick your color because these aren't sold do you want or all of it no, I don't need all of it. I mean, well, I love them. Here, I'll give you all of it. I don't Jody. need those. But I need these two. You can't have okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Thank you. Can you give it a whirl. Oh okay, God, what else? Treat. Okay, I have one more thing that okay, has good. been sitting here for two videos. And I. that's how, like, things get piled on top of it. And yes. it's been sitting here. This is something I was so excited about. And I love. You know we love Jamie and Christopher Cabin Boy Knits. They're out in Ontario and they do beautiful natural dyeing, like yeah. foraging in the woods, getting all their stuff. Um, and they do beautiful yarns. They have a phenomenal YouTube channel. You must check out Cabin Boy Knits. They do great videos. Mm -hmm. They edit, they produce, they travel and they bring their travels to you. I love watching them. But I bought three skeins of his fingering weight sock and I I believe it's non-superwash. Oh, that hat I just showed you guys. What? This marl. Yes. Yeah. So this is not natural dyed. They're into like sustainable, environmentally friendly, all of that stuff. But this is non-superwash marled sock yarn. That's really beautiful. In three different colors. And oh. so this is in this is dyed with indigo. That's non-superwash? Yeah, it's super soft, right? Wow. I, I mean, yeah. yeah it yeah, says. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm lying. 40% merino superwash. Okay. And 40% Peruvian wool. Which is not superwash. And 20% nylon. Okay. So for all the details, don't listen to me. Read the website. Um, but this was dyed with marigolds. This was dyed with indigo. And this was dyed with those, um, is it cochineal bugs? Those little bugs? Really? Yeah. So I just thought they were beautiful. I do have a project in mind, and I have to get going on it. That's um, really interesting that that pink one's dyed by a bug. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool to see and hear what Na people forage for and the colors it turns I mean, out. I think natural dyeing is so interesting. Yeah. This feels super soft. Super so, soft. Super soft. So, But I love the colors. I kind of got like the primary vibe, and I am going to use them in, in something. I love it so much. Together. Okay, one other thing, and actually we maybe should have led with this, is... Um, our retreat yes that we're hosting i can't yes. believe we left it this long with knit social yes with amanda and fiona so we are um we created fiber folk and that is the four of us yeah and tell everybody about it so we talked about it we a bit last have time. teamed up with amanda and fiona um and we think retreat together in canmore yes. is what we want to do and so we've curated a weekend it's going to be for three nights in the Canadian Rockies. It's so phenomenal. At an amazing location. It's called the Malcolm Hotel. It's a beautiful hotel mm -hmm. right in Canmore. It's in Canmore, Alberta. It is truly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Mm -hmm. And the weekend is going to be just one of those ones where we get together and we make friends and we have curated this really fun you know, there's all the goodies and the food is amazing. And there's workshops with um, Cecilia, who is Sea Wolf and Sage and is an amazing beading artist. And she's going to teach a class. We're going to do our sock talk workshop, which is lots of all the things we've learned about sock knitting mm. for fit and embellishment and all that stuff. Um, and there are still some things on the go as far as planning. But we also have evening activities. It's really going to be one of those like sleepover weekends where we're all doing things and pack your fun pjs yeah we're gonna gather we're gonna knit we're gonna yeah. laugh 
Um, it's just going to be about coming together. Yeah. Friends knitting with friends and making new friends yeah. and memories. And Create, creatively and yeah. inspiring. And it's the first weekend in February. So it's in Canmore. This is a quick turnaround. February 1st to 4th. Yeah. So if you guys want to register, that opens tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific on the Knit Social website. Um, we'll link that, of course, in our show notes. Um, if you wanted to find any information ahead of time, you can go to knitsocial.ca and they have a tab at the top. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Um, oh, no, not the Zoom. Um, that you, it says retreats and then you're going to go down to upcoming. Yeah. Um, and you're going to find the Canmore retreat there. Right. You know, with um, cost, transportation, Q&A, like any questions you may have. We think that Amanda and Fiona have answered all of them there. Yes. Or at least a lot of them. Yeah. And, but um, uh, uh, of course, you can just send an email message with any questions you have. Um, it's easily, you so know. So this is the mobile version, but you're going to hit the tab and you're going to go to retreats at the bottom here. And you're going to go to upcoming retreats and it's going to take the, you right, right at the top to Canmore. So it's going to have a page where um, lots it's of really, questions. It's going to be a stunning, fun weekend. Yeah. You know, and we know these things can be like once in a lifetime. Maybe you'll never come back to that area again, but we know it will be it will be something I think yeah. you're going to absolutely oh, love. Oh, a pop-up marketplace. There's a marketplace coming. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot happening in the weekend. Oh, um, Orange Avocado who we did our knit jewelry with. Yes. They are doing a pop-up of those Spark Forever yes. bracelets. They'll also have some other of their jewelry to pick from, but yeah. Yeah, we're working on um, some fun, you know, mm. sweatshirts and things like that, everybody. So anyway, we, we're we thrilled to be, like, teaming up. Um, this is literally the dream that we've had for years, to do mm -hmm. a, something in Canmore, because mm -hmm. we think it is, you know, that special of a place. I agree. Yeah. And the Malcolm Hotel is gorgeous. You guys it's 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 really a me, uh, an amazing weekend. We hope we hope you guys love the idea as much as we do, and we can't wait to welcome you all to Alberta in the winter. Mm -hmm. Right? You get to wear all your knits. This is go time. This is Super Bowl for knitters. If you've been making sweaters and hats and stuff and can barely wear them, I promise this is you're going to be able to wear yeah. them. Which I think. At that time of year in the mountains, to be able to yeah. wear our knits and bundle up and have a hat and a scarf yeah. and your cowls, it's it's really great. You know, or yeah. be inside and watch the snow from the outside. Absolutely. Yeah. Sit by the fireplace, mm -hmm. um, drink whatever hot beverages you love. It's going to be really, um, our, our dream is that it is a weekend of like camaraderie mm -hmm. and making friends and making memories and learning something. And anyway... Mm -hmm. We're excited, and we hope you guys are too. Um, yeah. Awesome. So tomorrow's the more. Tomorrow's the day. It Someone goes for was sale. just asking for this knit jewelry. Um, this is from Orange Avocado. It's our collection with them, and it's in our shop, grocerygirls dot com. Grocerygirls knit. Grocerygirls knit dot com, and this is a little cutout heart, and it's got punched with the word knit. I'm not showing it. It's on very good but and this is a little yarn ball um but you know i know it's a yarn ball but it also just looks like a little it's a really little, cool little charm i love it yeah so it is all fine silver and gold fill mm -hmm. it's beautifully handmade by a mother and daughter yeah. local um company that we love so that was a really fun collab I've ordered several since our first batch. Yeah. And it I have was, a little bit more coming for next week. People seem to really love they it. They really love it. And um, it gave us idea. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll make something else in the future to yeah. get a twist on it. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, it was really yeah. fun. Okay, you guys. That was that was a lot of, uh, lot of chitter chatter. It's very fun to I think to, to myself... Come. I'm going and I'm going to do it for, a f and then I think we really sit there for that long. People and it's must just go gone on in YouTube and go two and a half hours. What do they possibly think they have to and say? And it's gone in a blank. It is gone in a blank. So thank you for coming to visit what us, you guys. What are your plans this we weekend? We love coming to visit you. We love coming to share. Um, and if you guys can come visit us tomorrow at Vogue Knitting Online on the Zoom. 
That also is oh. going to be really fun. That'll be so fun. And we are also, we'll share with you, I guess on Instagram, there's a fun local knit night happening that we're going to be going to um, at Statement Junkie. So we can't wait to do that either. We don't have all the details, but we do know it's December 14th. So if you're local and want to hang out for an evening of knitting, call Statement Junkie. Oh, my doctor's calling. Oh, yeah? I don't need to. Um. Anyway. Thanks for coming, you guys. We hope everybody is well. Have the best two weeks. We know this time of year can yeah. be very difficult. It's difficult. Um, mental Period. health wise and just overall, um, it's not a great experience for everybody. So we acknowledge that and we're thinking of you yeah. and just be kind. I and think more, more people than not really dread this time of year. Yeah. And I completely understand that yeah and i understand just in general the world right now is just yeah and so, i don't even have the words for how difficult things i know are, right so um we hope that you can come here and find some solace mm -hmm. because there's a lot of the opposite happening right now yeah. so we are always here we can't wait to see you on our zoom which will be december 16th we'll put all the information out there later um, but we would love to connect with you, and we are always here. PJ's mandatory. Yeah. If you can, we're making it a PJ party, you guys. So. At least, at the bare minimum, yoga pants or sweats. Right. Yeah. Right. Nothing Get cozy, funny. bring a project. We'll have snacks. Have your snacks. And we're just going to chat. It is literally just all about it can what be you're knitting. It can be Q&A, ask us anything. Let's talk about um, what could people whatever ask you want. they don't whatever. already know. Whatever. We, all we do is talk. Grab your project. But it's yes. not it's not gonna be this. It's gonna be like let's knit together. It's straight up. It's gonna be snacks and we're gonna be knitting and mm -hmm. we hope you guys have things you wanna share. Like like knit night. Show us what you're knitting mm -hmm. or crafting or crocheting mm -hmm. or maybe you quilted something. I would love to see your quilting. Would love that. I would love it. So we love you and we hope you feel that mm -hmm. all the time. It is from our hearts. We can't believe we've been here almost eight years. That's crazy yeah and i don't see us slowing down you can't get rid of us that easily no we yeah. you know hugs to all of you yeah so thank you very much love you guys love you take care see of you. you in two weeks bye bye bye